Mecca activated. Nice of you guys to drop by. Follow me. They'd be crazy to follow us, wouldn't they? A giant gorilla. Just like in those old video games. Never tell me the odds. I hope we don't get back for this. Let me see your identification. What is up, guys? Just have to uh, get that off my uh, off my speakers. How are we all doing? How are we all doing? All right, we up in this B, hey? How are we all doing? Now, let's get some music back playing for you guys. Alrighty. Yes, we, uh, geez, I really need a shave, guys. Uh, but thanks for joining. Thanks for joining, guys. We've got a few people online. We have an exciting show. Um, I promised you we're going to do some Watsy, right? Some Wizard of the Coast stuff. So here we go. Wizard of the Coast uh Absolutely, uh, time to uh, let it rock and roll. So, guys, thanks for joining. Uh, we've got a few more jumping on. That's great to see. Um, and we're just going to get right into it. So, those guys that did join yesterday, um, we went through an entire Shiny Star V box. Um, we are told that these first set, first print, which are identified by this little logo here. Um, we're told that they're, uh, they've are they got better pull rates, right? So these also come with a code card that we can use in Sword and Shield. So I'll be um, popping them on later. Um, after this stream, I will be jumping on Sword and Shield and uh, and I'll be trying all those codes out and seeing what they give me. So if you guys want to uh, want to join for that, feel free to do so. And Ant, what time is it for us here in Australia right now? It is 1.20, my man. 1.20. Let me just fix this camera a bit. Yeah, 120. And hey, look, I've got my uh, new generations box sitting right here, guys. Um, so yeah, it's uh, it's right up the alley of what we're dealing with today, which is generations 20th anniversary. Just mucking around with the camera a bit, guys. It's all right, it's good enough. It's good enough, right? As long as you can see me, that's what uh, that's all that's important, right? No. Hey, um, Ant, what time is it for you over in the States now? While we're doing that, I've made some slight changes to the uh, 9.20. Okay, so it's not a terrible uh, time. I'm catching you guys at something decent now. So, uh, yeah, hopefully it's, uh, it's, you know, hopefully we're not going to keep you up too late tonight, guys. 
But um, but yeah, thanks for joining. And as you can see, um, you know, some slight changes in um, stream at this time. Always, man. Look, on the weekends, I will always stream at this time for you guys. So um, the plan is uh, to do an early in the morning stream for you guys, um, and, and and one around this time of the weekend, just to try and get uh, get some of you guys on uh, on the stream because I know that it is. Uh, I really want you to have you guys on. Like yesterday was absolutely hilarious. So let's uh, let's rock and roll. Let's uh, let's get a graphics. Okay. Hello. Thanks for joining. Thanks for joining. Feel free to hit that follow button, guys. That will help you keep in the loop as to when I'm online next. And uh, and the more follows means the more Watsy we get to open, right? So once we hit that thousand followers. Uh, we'll be opening up some more Watsy, and the aim is to get to 10 subscribers, guys. If I can get to 10 subscribers, uh, we'll be opening up some first edition vintage Watsy packs, right? So that is that is our goal. If we can get to 10 subs, we will open some vintage first edition Watsy packs, guys. That's all I ask of you guys. Um, awesome, awesome. Thank you for the follow graphics, and uh, and thanks for jumping on, guys. So. First off, first cab off the rank today. We're going to keep this uh, our little beautiful fossil pack to the side here. First cab off the rank has to be Shiny Star V, right? Do we do we get into another one of these babies? They're uh, so good. I'm chasing that God Pack, right? So I still haven't pulled a God Pack yet, guys. Um, ah, sick. Awesome. Awesome. Thanks. So, uh, so guys, you know, with, with Shiny Star V, um, I'm chasing that God Pack because we have not yet pulled a God Pack. So, I think we just get right into it, unless anyone wants... Oh, yes, and I will update the spreadsheet today, man. Sorry, I was just trying to fix a whole bunch of stuff on the stream. But uh, I'm also seeing that there are a few messages, guys, on Twitch. I have not been able to check them out either. So I'm sorry, guys. I'm just logging in now to have a look. All right, cool. All right, guys. So just have someone from the States also just asking to... Um, open up one of his boxes um, on the stream. So I'm just seeing when he wants us to do that, and uh, and I'll be able to uh, crack that open for you guys. All right. What what happened to the ads? What are the ads doing? Yo, hypnotics. It just happens as soon as we uh, we, we jump on, uh, as soon as we went to uh, affiliate, man. It just happened as soon as we went to affiliate. I don't know how do we uh, switch them off. I'll suss it out later, dude. But uh, guys, let's get right into it. Alrighty, so Shiny Star V, for those who joined us yesterday, our first pack, we were able to pull a Shiny Lapras. And, uh, and if you're like me and you're a Lapras fan, you would have been pretty excited. But thanks for joining anyway, Hypnotics. I've taken your feedback on the camera positioning. And as you can see, I uh, told the crew yesterday, uh, adjusting it so you can see a bit more of my mug. Oh, and it randomly comes on during the stream. Okay, that is not good. Not good at all. Um, not good at all, man. Let me just have a quick look at how to fix... But I've got my mate streaming, messaging me now, just telling me. Thanks for the help there. Alrighty. Hopefully, my man, this. Uh... Yeah, hopefully, this. Um... Yeah, man, it shouldn't be jumping in during the... Let me know if it does it again, all right? Yeah, let me know. Let me know if it does it again. All right, guys, let's get right into it. All right, we've just broken the seal on this baby. 
Just broken the seal on this baby. Hey, get a pleb NLG. Welcome, welcome, welcome today, guys. So Hypnotics just mentioned that the ads are doing something weird. Um, my apologies, guys. I do not know what I'm doing with them yet. So I will fix it and remove it ASAP. Uh, they just automatically uh, enable when uh, when I'm on uh, when I'm on the stream. So apologies, guys. Um, yes. So I made some changes. I hope that fixes the uh, the issue. Let me know if they are still if they are still rolling though. Yeah. Um, because I don't want to bug you guys with with ads, right? So, all right, straight into it. Shiny Star V. These guys know. Yesterday went through the packaging. Um, it uh, it's look, it's an amazing, amazing little set, amazing packaging. I just absolutely love the detail that they put on this. And we have Pokeball guy right on the side here. How good is that? So those that play Sword and Shield, you'll know Pokeball guy, um, cool character, and he's just dancing around doing his things all the time. Um, so he's now featured in a card. And we go through the packs here. All right, so we have 10 packs to go through. Shiny Star V. Key pulls for me would be things like the Shiny Ditto. Cannot wait to pull the Shiny Ditto. Uh, we've got the shiny Lapras already, which was awesome yesterday. Um, the Dragapult, uh, Bolt Hounds, and all that stuff. But uh, yeah, look, just wanting to uh, the, the Charizard as well. Jeez, if we can get that Zard today, guys, how good would that be? All right, just uh, getting a bit thirsty already. And time to get into it, really. All right, so first packet. What are you guys hoping to see out of Shiny Star V? What are you guys keen for out of Shiny Star V? Oh, shout out to the trusty frying pan, by the way. The trusty frying pan. Brock, Brock, shout out to you from the trusty, trusty frying pan. Guys, for all your Japanese Pokemon needs, yep, and the, uh, the, Shiny Ditto V Max. That's the one that I want to pull. Uh, Australians, guys, if you are local and you do want to get some stuff from Japan, Pokemon related or the like, do hit up Brock from the Trusty Fry, uh, Frying Pan. Did hook me up with this awesome, awesome set. All right, first pack. We into it. We into this first pack. I'll keep the code card for myself this time. And we're starting straight off with... The little bug guy, coughing, Toxapex, um, Aracuda, trainer card from um, the first town in the game. You've got Aegis Slash or one of his mates. We have a Ring Hollow Cursola, Galarian Cursola here, guys. We have another Zamazenta. Ooh, we got the Rillaboom Full Art V Max. How nice is that? And oh, we got this guy again here as well. Alrighty. So, straight into the sleeve will be this bad boy here. The Rillaboom V Max. And again, as you, I, I'm, I don't know when I'm going to stop ranting and raving about the quality of the print on these Japanese cards, guys. But if you've seen a few of my videos by now, you'll know how much I absolutely love these cards. They are, um, the Japanese set are just printed so much nicer than, than our sets. They're actually made by a different factory completely, um, which is why that is the case. So, um, very, very, very cool cards indeed. Um, and we'll just put them away. Um, one thing before we do keep going into this, guys, I do want to cover off is um, you may have heard um, in a few of my streams when I talk about how I put my cards for grading. I, I mentioned that, uh, that I don't like using these grading sleeves, and I will generally use a top 
uh, top loader, uh, something otherwise knows, right? Um, just with a little tab to be able to pull it out. Um, now, I've actually realized that it was probably because I was using the Ultra, Ultra Pro ones. I don't like them. They are too stiff. As you slide into the card, in and out of them, um, you're almost damaging the card, I find. Local guys, again, Australians, palms off gaming. Theirs is much easier. Look at that. Much easier to open and get your card in there without feeling like you're going to be damaging it. I don't know. I don't know even know if you can tell on stream, guys, but I've immediately found a massive difference between the Palms Off Gaming ones and the Ultra Pro. Um, and that's going to be my new choice moving forward. Thanks for those who have just joined the stream. Thank you guys for your support. Uh, we just recently hit Twitch affiliate, which is awesome stuff. All thanks to you guys. Uh, it was super quick as well. So, um, you know, just, just hoping to uh, continue the journey, guys, and, and keep ripping these open for you guys. Really keen to open up some of those mystery boxes we have coming soon. So we have the Walgreens mystery boxes. Uh, we've got the Mayor exclusive mystery boxes. Plus, I've purchased more of those mystery booster boxes. Um, and some other mystery boxes from a few other um, sellers from around the world. So I've got I've purchased from the States, locally in Australia, um, and, and, and from a few uh, European countries too, um, which is, seems to be where I get all my band Misties from as well. Starting off our second pack today, guys, from Shiny Star V is Cliff Berry. Oh, let's uh, let me hold this in a better way. Okay, we've got the. Trainer's Rock Fossil thingy to create your um, Pokemon. Impidimp. This thing here. Oh, jeez. Google's decided to start talking. When will I open those? So, guys, the mystery boxes haven't arrived yet. So, as soon as the mystery boxes arrive, I'll um, you'll, I'll post that on my Twitter. Um, and you guys will know as soon as uh, as soon as they, they'll be uh, streamed. Um, I do have lots of unbroken bonds to go through. Lots of... Um, Lots of darkness of blades, lots of sword and shield as well, guys, because I do want to finish my master set of sword and shield. So we've got a bucket load of those to rip through, plus plenty more shiny star, uh, um, vivid voltage before we go down to shining legends when they arrive in February as well. So um, stay tuned for that. But at, at 10 subs, guys, at 10 subs, I will be opening my first edition Wizard of the Coast packs for you guys. Trainers Stadium, we have this guy who evolves from that mysterious rock thingy um, fossil that we mentioned earlier. We have Heat More. Oh, we got the Ditto V. So we've got the V Max Ditto so far in the full art. We haven't got the Hollow or the Shiny version, sorry. And we got the Reverse Hollow Crow Gun. One of my personal favorite Pokemon is Krogunk, and just look at the reverse hollowness of this. I mean, can all our reverse hollows please be like this? And is that, is that a print line? Yes, unfortunately, there's actually a print line right through there, guys, um, if you can see that. I don't usually get print lines on Japanese, uh, Japanese printed uh, goods, but we have one right there. Okay, guys, moving on to our third pack, Octovish. Thank you very much, man. And that's why you're winning. When I'm opening these Japanese packs, I need you to uh, keep keep me on track, mate, with my uh, with my uh, good old mispronunciations or just non-pronunciations. Sometimes it's just hard to uh, hard to keep them all uh, in memory as well, right? And the more I do this, guys, obviously, more the nerves. Hey, Rex the Riches. Welcome, welcome. My first subscriber ever, my man. Dracobish. Octobish. <laughs> yeah, um, Dracobish is the evolution. So, yeah, that's the one that we just went, that we just pulled, wasn't it? All right, on to our third pack is the iceberg looking one. Cheers, my man. Guys, first up, we got Ghastly, Woolamoo, Roly Coley, Galarian Rapidash, uh, some search trainer card. We got the fully evolved uh, Galarian um, Yan Mask. What's his name, guys? 
Ah, cutie. <laughs> <laughs> what's uh what's this guy's name again well you know who he is we got the bolt hound in the ring hollow galarian obstagoon another senti scorch v like yesterday a reverse hollow trainer and that's it for this pack Jeez, this pack has been uh so far this box has been Uninteresting. Uh, scoop up nets. Thank you. Uninteresting so far, guys. Let's get that God box. God pack, yeah? Galarian Configurus. And guys, later on, as I said, I will pop all these codes into Runagorus. That's it. Um, Guys, I will be um, streaming Sword and Shield hopefully later, and I'll pop through all these codes in it as well, uh, so we can see what see what we get from these Shiny Star V codes in um, Hypnotics. I'll give you a few as well. Let's pop them into um, into Sword and Shield and see what we get from these um, these codes. All right, guys, starting off with our little buddy Krogonk, Sizzlippy, Rookity, Cramorant, Grappleox, uh, another trainer card. Ooh, nice. Is that Dragapult? Hey, and we get an amazing rare Kyogre. One of my favorite water Pokemon. Um, Kyogre in a shiny as well. He's pink. He's very, very, very nice. Um, but again, if we just, you know, look at the detail on that holographic, much better. Much, much better better than the English versions. Let's go, Natsta. Thanks for joining. Boom. And this guy just seems to want to keep hanging out. And finally, our reverse holo Toxapec. All right. Not bad at all. Happy to finally pull that bad boy. And... We just can't, I can't seem to get the texture up well enough on the camera because I don't think it's something the camera can pick up, but, um, yeah, so it's got extra, extra pattern throughout, even beyond the standard glitter. Very cool. All right. And I'll sleep the rest up after the stream. On to our, what is this? Fifth pack now, guys. Our fifth halfway through. Rusty Shield, eh? All right. On to our fifth Shiny Star V pack. Thanks for joining those who have just jumped on. As I mentioned earlier, guys, once we hit 10, 10 subscribers, we'll be opening up some first edition, first edition Watsy packs. First edition Watsy packs. So Wizard of the Coast. Trubbish. Um, Elder, Eldergross, yeah, the, the thingy, Hatteen, Balloon, we have, uh, oh god, this is this was my starter as well, I should know him, Sabu evolves into, before he goes into Intalion, I don't know guys, completely blanked out here, you know who he is, the emo looking Sobel evolution. Hey, and the shiny vault secret, yeah. Guys, we've just bought a card from the shiny vault. We have the Stojuna, Stojuna from the shiny vault. Boom, Drizzle, that's his name, bloody Drizzle. Very cool, very cool to access the shiny vault here and the non-shiny version right here. What is the shininess of him? Hmm, can't really tell. And Golly Spots. And another Rillaboom V non full art. Rillaboom V non full art. Okay. Let's leave this bad boy. As he gets insta protected. Then thanks for those who have just joined. We're ripping open some Shiny Star V before we get into. The Generations Packs. So we have a stack of Generations to get through, guys. From 2016. These are the 20th 
anniversary. Yeah, back to back stun joiner. Um, 20th anniversary packs, guys. So this was to celebrate the 20th anniversary of Pokemon. And so we will be ripping through them straight after this. We are almost done Shining Star B. And then we'll be finishing off the video with a tasty, tasty fossil Wizard of the Coast pack. Hell yeah. All right, guys. I should actually uh, update the, uh, the pools list right now with our... Do we do it? Do we update it? Let's yeah. Let, let's chuck on the amazing rare. And do we do we chuck in anything from the shiny vault, guys? Just chucking it up on screen now. What do you reckon? Should we put the uh, should we put the shiny vault cards up on the screen as well as our pools so far? You tell me. What do you guys want to see? What's considered a pool? Oh man, I might even just use this picture. Might even just do this because this is going to take up less space. How about this? All right, let's get this uh, amazing rare up onto the screen. Watch what I've done with this guy. Hey! <laughs> All right, pool number one. Hey, we should uh, maybe we should yeah continue our horror hunt after this stream. Try and get ourselves a shiny on um, on um, on uh, sword and shield. Let's do it, man. Let's do it. Let's go. Guys, I'm also doing a dual stream with uh, Angry Scotsman. Uh, he was mentioning it yesterday. We'll be doing the Kanto event in February for Pokemon Go. So we'll get we'll each get a ticket for red or blue and um, and uh, do it that way. So we cover both sides of the event. So it'll be pretty cool. I'll probably go over here or vice versa, and uh, and we'll get that done. So guys, definitely keep uh, keep uh, keep keep around, hang around. Keep the follow going um, because, yeah, that's going to be really, really cool. He's absolutely hilarious, guys, so it's going to be good fun. All right, starting off with our Galarian Yan Masks. Yeah, guys, we'll head, head over to Hypnotics after this when uh, when I jump on my Sword and Shield stream. Ducklet, Morpico, uh, Feeble. Hey, and we hit the shiny bolt again, ladies and gentlemen, with the Dragapult. Yeah, boy. Grimace Snarl. Ice Cube Heads. Senti Scorch V Max. Oh, look at that. Full art, finally, at least. And a Reverse Holo Hatterene. Hatterene. Okay. Shiny Vault. I'll be collecting Shiny Vault. Guys, any other cards, if anyone wants any of the cards from this set, please let me know. I'm only collecting the Shiny Vault cards. Um, I'm not collecting any other cards from this set, um, unless it is a Shiny Vault card. So if you guys do want it, it's yours. Just message me and I'm happy to send them out to you. So that's, uh, that's my little thank you to you. Alright guys, just a few left from Shiny Star V before we start ripping into Generations, Pokemon Generations. Alright. Hey Rags to Riches, I um, can't remember, do you play um, Sword and Shield as well? Feel free to add me at Sword and Shield guys on Pokemon Go, just um, hit me up. You guys are the first here. You guys get first dibs at joining my friends list, right? Um, is this Snom? Is it Snom? Double. Yep. Spanner. Oh, Creamy. Piz. Surfetch. Galarian. Um, Duraludon. The annoying bug little guy that bugs you. And a Galarian. Meowth. 
in a reverse holographic. Ah, oh, that's right. You're getting the Switch. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just how often will you spend now playing it? <laughs> Better not be pinching it off for the whole time. Uh, how's, how is that when you, you're like, I'll get this for the kids, and then you just end up playing with it yourself the whole time? Oh. Always good fun. My biggest concern is my Lego, right? Alright, guys, we have two packs after this one. Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> two packs after this one, guys. Not a god pack. So, the way we can tell if we get a god pack is the first card will be a reverse. The first card on the pack will be a reverse. And every other card in the pack will then be a secret rare. We really want a god pack. Two packs left, guys. Let's get that God Pack, man. I really, really want to open a God Pack. I haven't opened a God Pack yet. Let's make it happen. Galarian, Mr. Rhyme, Mr. Mime, Milky or Milsery, Minchino, Abominus Snow, um, Energy, Raboot, uh, Professor's Research in a Hollow, Hatterene in a Hollow. Boom! Man, we pulled the Center Squad so many times. It's about time we get him in this shiny. Shiny. Yeah, so secret or um, secret or um, uh, you know, shiny. But the first card is actually a reverse hollow, and then every card after that becomes a becomes a shiny card. Um, all right, guys. So we just access the shiny vault. Boom! Shiny vault access. Center scorch delivered, and we get the Grookey in a. Uh, not, not a Grookey, um, uh, see, I'm forgetting the middle evolutions, guys. Thwacky, Thwacky in a reverse holographic. Thwacky in a reverse holographic. But damn, shiny bolts. Thank you, Tom to Papa. Yeah, no, I don't know, um, if, uh, if Asif was watching right now, he may be able to tell us. I think he was on before. Asif, if you're around, let us know. I know you just opened one up yesterday. Um, so Asif from PCA Mart, one of the uh, retailers in New South Wales. Um, he did open up a few packs for his customers yesterday. And... Lo and behold, it was a God Pack. Again, guys, if you do want me to, uh, if you just message me if you do want me, if you want to buy any of these and want to open, want me to open them up, I'll chip in. So it gives me content. You guys get a bargain, and uh, and uh, it's all fun and games. All right, starting off with the Phoebus, uh Flowerhead, Elder Gross, whatever. No, what's the name of the Flowerhead there, guys? Score Bunny kicking off. Potion, Siglyph, boom, another shiny access to the vault. We have a Thievul in a shiny. Damn, that is a nice shiny. Hey, and the amazing rare Reshiram again. We pulled this one yesterday, guys. Not going to knock it, though. A Zacian B. And a Mr. Mime Galarian Reverse Holographic. Wow, and the extra detail, guys. I don't know if you can see that, but they've added in texture over here with the wind. Very cool. Very, 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 very cool. Yeah, this was a good pack, but not a god pack. Good pack, not a god pack. Good pack, not a god pack. Hey guys, by the way, you can request songs um, and have them played by, I think it's exclamation mark SR, exclamation mark and the letter S and the letter R. Um, give it a crack, see if you guys can actually play anything. I, I did set it up, I think I did. 
All right, now let's put these puppies away. And we are on to the last packet from our Shiny Star V box. The last packet, guys. The last packet. Any song? Yeah, you can request any song of YouTube. Any song of YouTube. Apparently, it's how it works, yeah? So any song you're from YouTube, you can make it happen. This could dangerous. Yeah, look, I mean, I'm not, I won't put this video up on YouTube, so it should be fine, I guess. Uh, or we can just continue playing the, uh, the music that I've got on at the moment. It is royalty-free gaming music, apparently. I think, I think it's exclamation mark SR and then the, uh, yes, I am thirsty. Get out here, Jad Dragon. Um, exclamation mark and then SR and then a space. And then you put in the link to the YouTube video. Um, and so someone seems to be very eager at uh, getting into contact with me. Um, but yeah, all right, let's, uh, let's go on to the next. On to the last pack from the box. Last pack from the box. Hypnotics is, uh, is saying that every card is uh, interesting. So, legit all shiny cards, you can tell by the first card being a shiny. Well, that's interesting, man, because yesterday, as I said, Asif did open one up and um, and um, and he did mention that uh, that it's uh, well, when he opened it up, the first one was a reverse, and he goes, if you get a reverse, every other card will be shiny, and every card after that was shiny. Do I have Afghan hip-hop? I don't even know how to answer that. Is there Afghan hip-hop? I'm sure there is. Um, hip-hop of every language. Hey! He added a song! Alright. Now do I turn off my background music? And how does it work? All right, so and now what happens? This song is USA Culture. Coda Black, Twenty One Savage, Little Easy, but Little Yeah. All right, is it playing? Is it playing, guys? Here we go. Galeri Meowth, that annoying bug guy again. It's not a god pack. It's not playing. Okay. Um. It says it's in queue. <laughs> oh man! Well, when we figure out how to use that uh, that song request thing and get it playing, let me know and I'll turn off the uh, the background music. We got a Milotic non shiny, a holographic colossal. Oh, Ditto! Why are you doing this to me? We got another Ditto V Max, guys. Another Ditto V Max. It is beautiful, but it's not the shiny one that we want. Not see the little blue guy in the bottom corner of my of my screen right right here. Oh, if I can get my retarded fingers the right way, there we go. That guy we want him blue. He's purple, not blue. Yeah. Oh, and a reverse holographic energy card at the back. Okay. Well, shiny star V. Thank you for playing. Thank you for coming. Um, you gave me a few shinies, which was good. I'm not going to knock them. Um, was pretty happy with the, with the shiny bolts that were pulled. Let's get them out into the interview. And I'll flee that VMAX in a second. Let's just get out some of the, our great pulls from this box. I'm going to put the Rilla Boom there, as I am a bit of a fan of the old Boomy, Boomage. Boom bleach. Not bad, not bad at all, guys. What do we reckon? Could have been worse. Definitely could have been worse. I must have a sore wrist on pulling. Try going to the next video on YouTube. Is there background music on? Is the background music on? Yes, it is.
It's it didn't add to a um playlist on YouTube, man. Um, but yeah, so these are our pools, guys. Um, not bad, not bad at all. We did get ourselves four cards from the shiny vault. Yeah, I just did. It's it's not in the uh, it's not on the list, Ant. Um, I'll do some research. Or if uh, Scotsman jumps on anytime soon, he'll be able to tell us how it all works. Um, all right, guys. So, yeah. So, we got four shiny cards. So, five shiny vault cards. Um, no, four. Four. All right. The first time. Four shiny vault cards. Uh, we did get a couple of full arts and two amazing rares from the box, guys. So, pretty happy all in all. Rex the Riches as the first subscriber, man. Any non, you know, non shiny vault card you can have, dude. If you want the Rashi Ram, that's yours. If you want the Ditto, that's yours. Let me know. Let me know. All right. There are some commands, by the way, you can add. Can I get a Ditto? All the way to the States. I can send it as a letter. Definitely send it as a letter. But we just tried to... Uh, so, one of the guys on the previous streams, guys, from the States, from California, he won this. But it was $30 to get it sent out there. 26 or something like that. Alright, Rags, that Reshiram is yours. So, guys, this year... This year was won by uh, one of the other previous guys that jumped online, um, Pleb NLG. And, uh, oh man, no, oh good, cheers. So guys, uh, Pleb NLG did win this off one of our previous streams, and he actually um, has asked for us to open this up on stream. So just confirming when he's jumped on, um, and then we'll open it for him, as it'll make it a lot cheaper to send out to him um, moving forward. But thanks so much for the love, guys. You guys are absolute legends. So, Shiny Star V, box done. Shiny Star V, done and dusted. Let's update this here. Alright, we've just updated the title. Because we will be opening up a Wizard of the Coast. Did I say jungle? Whoops. Fossil. Uh, booster pack, guys. A booster pack. A Wizard of the Coast Fossil Booster Pack. We will be opening this up today on stream. Thanks to you guys. So, keep them coming. Also, guys, you can redeem bits in the channel. Um, so... Uh, I've got two... Oh, actually, I don't even know if they've been approved yet, so maybe not. Um, the uh, I, I had some stuff uh, set up, so we, I think I'm just waiting for Twitch to approve them, and then you guys will be able to use some cool stuff um, in the channel as well. All right, but before we go on to this bad boy, you know what time it is. It's Generations time, right? It's time for Generations, guys. I'm so hella keen to open these up. We opened up one pack last night. Um, myself and Rex the Riches were online and uh, decided to rip open a pack because I just couldn't wait, right? And this is what we called yesterday. We opened up the Charizard artwork and it was a Slurpuff from one of the additional sets within the sets that was explained to me yesterday, which this also forms a part of. Um, you have multiple charms here, which mean the additional part of the set. Uh, but this, it's a really cool set. I really like the artwork and I've never actually, this, this is the first time I'm actually opening these cards. So, um, you know, even the Jinx artwork here, I thought it was pretty cool. Um, Diglett, I thought was Awesome. Um, and Clefairy, yeah, it's cool, but, it's, you know, it's it's okay. But, um, damn, it, there's some really cool artworks in here. So, guys, super keen to get through this. 
I've never opened them up before. And as uh, you may or may not know, I did. I did find a whole stack of these yesterday as well. Did find a whole stack of these yesterday to join my new up there. 20th anniversary boxes. So, those that haven't seen these, these went around during the 20th anniversary. And these also have Generations packs in them. And they have one for every mythical Pokemon. I believe they had 12 come out. One for every month of the year during the 25th anniversary. I did actually find these in a store, guys. I definitely found these in a store. Definitely found these in a store, guys. And it was pretty... I know. I know. And mind you, scalpers had already made their way into this store. The guy had said he'd, he'd have people come in and just buy the entire shelves, right? And just go, I'll buy everything. And he'd find them, you know, selling them. They kept walking past these. They did not know. But it was also 50 AUD. So, what's that? Like 35 USD? 30 USD? Um, I don't know. Is that too much? Even though it was in a store, guys? Arceus. It's expensive? Okay. Well, there you go. I'm pretty sure they had them for more previously. Oh, no. They had them for less previously. <laughs> Pokemon tax. Or do we call it the Logan Paul tax? Look at that. They actually had it for 40 previously. Well, I'm happy to have found them anyway. So, and just so you know, like... That means it works out to be $25 a pack um, if you were to use this to get packs. And people are selling packs at $50 each right now. Guys, if you've got Generations packs, let me know because I want to open them. But I really don't want to keep... I don't want to be paying stupid pricing to, to open them. So I'd be paying $50 a pack. Logan Paul tax, man. Us in the States hate that guy. Oh, you should see how much they hate him here. Like, he's ruined everything. Nah. <laughs> I was looking at... I really... I mean, there were so many things I was looking at buying before the stupid hype. And then after that, I'm like, oh, no. Um, oh, man. I don't, I don't see how Logan Paul is going to win this fight. I really don't. Maybe I don't know enough about fighting, guys. But I thought he's just going to get knocked out. I, I, I really thought this is going to be hilarious, but... Oh, <laughs> man. Twitch, um, Twitch sent us an email saying they want to ba they're, they're, they're banning that phrase. So I don't know how it let you, uh, let you write that in the... Uh... But then again, I did let someone uh, rip out the C word the other day. I had to. It was fun. All right, guys. Let's get into Generations. I'm keen as mustard to rip through this. Um, super keen, actually. Let's, let's do it. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Our second generations pack. What is in here? Um, and I was oh, I was also surprised to see there was no code card because I'm like, what the? Um, and Rex Rich is like, yep, that's how it is. So, oh. Guys, if you do have any Generations packs, I'd love to get them off your, take them off your hands. Um, guys, should I be moving through to the front with this? What is it? Is it four to the front or three to the front? Four to the front. Okay. Oh, man. Pleb, it's all fake. So I was telling the guys yesterday, um, I've got like 450... Um, like 450 fake followers. Um, so they're like bots. So I've already reported it to Twitch. Um, because you can tell that their names are just a whole bunch of letters and then a couple of numbers after it. Um, so I got bot followed. And it... <laughs> bot followed sounds hilarious, by the way. Uh, I got bot followed. So it was um, it was pretty, pretty sad. Um, I don't know why I popped it. So, I mean, it's good inflating numbers, but they're not real people. So I don't like it. And it... 
I'm trying to hit goals and stuff, and it's just making it so much harder to understand where I'm at tracking towards my goals. So, that's all right. We can clearly see who subscribers are. So, 10 subscribers. We open first edition Wizard of the Coast packs. All right. Starting off with a fletching here, just like in the last pack. We have a Metapod. Leaning back, staring off into the distance. We have some boost that revitalizes you. A Zubat. Wow. These are really, really cool artworks. I mean, even that Metapod, I'm sorry, I'm just gonna go back to the Metapod for a sec here. Even that Metapod. And, and they're just something, something is really, just feels vintage about these. They just have that old school feel about the designs as well. Um, kind of harkens back to the Neo days. The Electros, for what? Yeah, yeah, I'll um, put us, I'll, I'll go through and f pull out the, um, um, the, uh, Pleb, you just missed the, um, the Shiny Star V-Box, we already went through it. Um, yep, yeah, so, and I'll hook you up with some Unified Minds codes. The Electros for your deck are online. Another OG. Oh, oh, it was in the middle of the game. What did you guys pull? Um, so we pulled... Let me just go back for a second. Yeah, look, I didn't update the pulls list because I didn't know how many we were going to pull. So I should sleep him. We got the Amazing Rare... Reshiram. Just trying to refocus that. The amazing rare Kyogre. We got the shiny Bolt Feeble. The Center Scorch. The shiny Dragapult. The shiny Stone Joiner. And the full art V Max. Plenty of other stuff, but nothing, in my opinion, is worth noting. Um, beautiful boxes, though. Beautiful. Uh, I absolutely love it. Sorry, guys. Plenty more to come. So I'll be opening up more Shiny Star V in the in the future. I have another um, eight boxes left. Um, so we have plenty of Shiny Star V to rip through, guys, because I am chasing a, a God Pack. Pretty much, I reckon, as soon as I hit a God Pack, I'll probably get rid of the rest. But um, in the meantime, I just want to get a God Pack, right? It's just just the excitement. And I want to get the full Shiny Star V Vault. Um, and then we're moving on. Now, Pleb, just so you know, we're opening this. That's my little little thank you uh, to you guys. Uh, mate, trusty fry pan hooked me up with those, uh, with those Shiny Star Vs. Um, so big shout out. Big shout out there. Um, so guys, we'll be opening up these the fossil pack. At the end of this, um, so definitely keen to uh, keen to keep pushing through. Um, absolutely, let's go. Um, I've made a lot of changes to the channel. They're just slowly filtering their way through, guys. So um, you know, waiting on Twitch to approve some of the stuff that we've uh, we've put forward to them. Um, so once that's done, you'll have some cool things to play with on the. Uh, on the uh, on the channel. All right, guys. What? I don't think you did. That's NLG. NLG. It's NLG. If you see his, uh, if you see the letters, it's NLG. No, I don't know. <laughs> NLG. All right, Zubat. We're starting up with the Zubat. Not gonna lie. That's what I thought it was, but it's not lie gonna. <laughs> Evo Soda. Energy. How to pee. Oh, sorry. Clefairy. The Reverse Hollow Rhyhorn. 
Damn, see? Even the right horn. Cool little artwork. You got his mates running beside him. And the rare was a hollow meow stick. This is, guys, this is really cool set. So one thing, what evolves from Rhyhorn? From Rhyhorn? So it's Rhydon, Rhyhorn, and and um, Rhyperia. Uh, Rhyhorn, Rhydon, and Ry Rhyperia. Uh, guys, look at the meow stick. It's even got... Um, even got holographic at the bottom here as part of the card. So very, very cool. Evolves from an Esper. Right on. <sighs> All right, now I get the joke. I get the joke, Ant. I get it. But you ruined it the first time. Doge Rio. Look at the artwork on Doge Rio. Charmander. There's the Charmander. We have the Charmander rags and another Metapod. Metapod. Wow. Look at the Charmander, guys. How cool is that? Oh, man. So, Ants. Ant, just so you know, man. I'm going to try and use that as a pickup line. <laughs> nah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to hook that up. Hook a mate up with that pickup line and see if it works. I want to send him out into the wilderness and uh, and ma maybe we've got to find a, a venue or an event where there's uh, Pokemon girls and he can go up to them and ask them as the trainer uh, ages, the trainer ages as the Charmander evolves. Yeah, so does everyone get what I'm going at with this? So Ants just decided to rip out a uh, pickup line. What evolves from Rhyhorn? <laughs> right on this. These nuts. Alrighty. On to the next package here. Got pack it. Boost the pack. Whatever. Make it happen. Blastoise artwork. Beautiful. Oh, beautiful artwork. <laughs> Should actually open these. Alright. And let's go for the front. We're going to do this this time. We're gonna do it this way this time. And front. Geodude. Again. My name is Borat. Now guys, we lost viewers last time. I put the Borat voice on, remember? <laughs> Don't make me do it again, because I want to. I'm gonna have that as a redeem option, by the way. If you redeem a certain amount of bits, I will start speaking in Borat speak. Redeem um redeem fifteen hundred bits and I'll I'll do the next five ten cards in Borat. Uh, so, we're starting off with a really cool artwork here on Geodude. Uh, same with Clement here. Graveler, graveling its way down the mountainside. Tangler, just tangling away in the northern suburbs of Melbourne. That's where it always finds Tangler and Pokemon Go. Magikarp, just doing an epic splash into nothingness. Metal Energy, looking very cool. Rapidash, looking mighty fine. Floral Plant Crown for Leonhart fans. Evo Soda, reverse holographic. Boom! And we get ourselves a Flareon EX. Nice! Look at that! Oh my god, my hand's actually shaking. Um, wow. Look, I'm, I'm a solid fan of the Evolutions, guys, so... Um, so I am definitely keen to, um, keen to rip a, 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 a Flareon, that's for sure. Let me sleeve this baby up. Let me sleeve this baby up. What's the value of this card, Rex? Wow, I just can't get over the... So nice. That is really, really nice, guys. I have to put that up on the screen. All right, here we go. Just getting it up on the screen. 
Very nice card. Very nice card. Okay, so a PSA 9 of this goes for around $250. PSA 9 of this goes for around $250. What does a PSA 10 go for? $250, a PSA 10 goes for, let me just confirm, it's RC6. Pretty cool. Very cool. Alright, moving on. Moving on. Let's get this puppy up on the screen. Evolution tend to do well. Yeah, they generally do. They get a bit of fanfare, right? Anything that has a bit of fanfare, whoa. All right. Beautiful. All right, happy as Larry with that one. Is Larry pretty happy? All right, you coin. All right, guys. Three packs in. It's time for the Zard pack. Can we pull a Zard? Can we pull a Zard? Let's get some hype in the chat, guys. Let's get some hype. Whatever icons, emoticons, emojis, whatever, dump them in there. Let's just pump the chat with it. We're about to rip open a Charizard booster pack. Give us a Zard, oh Lord Zard. Yeah, no worries, Hypnotics. No worries, man. Still got the fossil pack to do after this. All right. Oh, psychic energy. Four to the front. We start off with a shroomish. Max revive. Double colorless. Psychic. Krabby. Geodude. Again. Really cool artwork. Another energy in here. Reverse holo machop. And we got ourselves another meow stick. Another meow stick and a non holographic Hitmon Chan. These generations cards are so nice, guys. Really, really nice. I'm so happy I was able to get my hands on some of these packs. Um, if I can get more, I'll absolutely be getting my hands on more packs, guys, because this is something I want to keep opening. These are awesome. Absolutely awesome. All right. We'll flip it over. To the front. Just make sure it's three or four, because I keep doing... Oh, yeah, nuts. No, it is four to the front, but we'll start off with a rare if we go four to the front. And it's Hitmon Lee. Hitmon Lee with, again, some incredible artwork. Who's he actually kicking? It's a Machoke. Hitmon Lee kicking Machoke with a stretch kick. Fletching again. Revitalizing alcohol. Graveler graveling his way up the side of the mountain. Clefairy making his way to the moon. Meow, up to no good. Got himself lost in the desert. Rhyhorn, non-holographic. Ponyta, drawn and looking longingly off into the distance. Reverse Hollow Raichu. Reverse Hollow Raichu from Generations. And we get another Flareon EX. How does that happen, guys? How do we get two of these? 
<laughs> How did we just get two Flareon EXs? How does that happen? My luck. My absolute luck. Alright guys, three more generations pack to go. Oh, does anyone know what this is? Can we pull an Anstar EX though? Mate, by all means, let's make it happen. Does anyone know what this is? Anyone here know what a Kecko Menko pack is? Let me know if you know what this uh, this pack is. Nope. To be honest, neither do I really. So Keko Menko is the um, chess Japanese chess. So these Pokemon cards to play it and. We'll open it up in a video and actually go through this and see what's actually in it. But um, there's Pokemon cards that are used to play chess, which is called Keko Menko in Japan. And uh, and this is it. So, I don't know. Let's give it a crack and uh, find out. On that same stream, we'll be opening up these puppies here from Pokemon Center. These are Pika Pika Packs. Um, Pika Pika Packs have a series of Pikachu promotions, uh, promotional cards. Starting up our next pack here with Tangela, Magikarp, Metal Energy. Oh wow, how good is that Pikachu? Very nice artwork on the Pikachu here, guys. Hey, Reverse Hollow Psychic Energy. I mustn't have done the uh, the switcheroo here because oh my god. How do we get, how are the same cards, how are the same rares appearing over and over? It's not even a rare, it's actually an uncommon holo. Hitmonchan is our rare. Yeah, Hitmonchan, non holo rare. So we've not put any, so there's three holos in this pack. Ah, yeah, yeah, okay. So in every pack, is there a Radiant Collection card? Gulpin, very cool. Look at this. Both balancing the forks on their nose. The same meta hot. Okay, cool. So, have we just not pulled any holographic ranks? Oh, well, apart from the EXs, right? All right, two packs left, guys. Let's try and get some holographic rares out of here. So you can get two ultra rares in the one pack. Yep, yeah, yeah, okay. And at this rate, I'm going to end up opening up my boxes, right? Pikachu artwork. That is very cool. So we'll go three to the front. So we keep the rare at the back then. Because I was doing Charmander again. Damn it. No Charmeleon. Persian fake out. Pokeball, Caterpie, Meowth again up to no good, Rhyhorn, no Nadstar, not with this one, it's three with these ones, Ponyta, Reverse Hollow Energy, oh, oh beautiful, we get ourselves a Sylveon EX, thank you, Evolution love. Have a look at that artwork out of beauty. Just so nice. Oh. Non-holographic rare Gyarados. Again, great artwork, but just frustrating that it's non-holographic. Very frustrating to non-holographic. But nonetheless, let's get ourselves this. Leave it. So we got ourselves a Sylveon EX, a Flareon EX, but we got the full art here on the right. How nice is that? How nice is 
that. Yeah, I am getting very, very, very warm. All right, guys, that's definitely getting added to the pool list, by the way. Sylveon GX. Full art. What number is it? RC32. All right, the PSA 10 of that, by the way, seems to be going for about 100, 150 or so. Not bad. I'm just, I'm just seeing it pop up as I'm pulling out the pictures here on uh, on a, on Google. And save image. And here we go. Putting it up on screen. There he is. And there we go. The Sylveon card is up. How nice would it have been to get that in the hollow, but that's right. Still really good artwork, yeah? So you can see why I'm loving these Generations packs, guys. And, uh, and as I was saying to Rags the Riches yesterday, just has that really... Um, nostalgic feel about the entire set um, e even these retro type energy cards I mean we didn't have them in any retro sets but it just has a retro feel to it right all right last pack guys all right guys come on come on I, I, need, I need some shiny luck we, not not any shiny luck we need some luck L absolute luck guys I need this to produce something. Something good. Maybe a Charizard. Chameleon even. Just so I can see them. But from a rare perspective, give us something good. Last pack magic. Give us some of that last pack magic. Alright, let's do it. Let's do it, guys. Whoa. Whoa. It's getting warm in here. It's getting warm in here. Last pack magic. Let's pack magic! Uh, guys, also, um... Oh, Pleb, Pleb NLG. What was I going to ask? What was I going to ask? Alright, let's go three to the front. Guys, by the way, one of the guys wants me to open up some um, Dragon Ball packs. What do you guys think about that? Starting off with a fletching, I am I only collect Pokemon, although I am a Dragon Ball fan. Um, I don't collect any, any, any Dragon Ball cards. Um, and there's just a couple of boxes that he wanted, and he was just discussing whether or not I'd have a, I'd open them. Um, let's think about one, just, just, just to see what's in them, right? Um, I know all, all the characters anyway, so... Olympia, Clement, Slowpoke... Tangler, Rhyhorn, E, the reverse holo Gengar. How good does that look? How good does that look? <laughs> look at Ants. Guys, the Gengar artwork on that. How good is that? All right, now give us something good. So the reverse holo was a rare. Oh, shit. We got the Char- oh, 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 I got two cards here. We got the Guard of White EX, and we got a Charizard EX as well. How good is that? I have no idea what the hell that card is worth or anything, but I just, it's, how good is it pulling a Charizard? I do not know much about this set, so I'm leaning to you guys to tell me. Um, but damn, damn, Charizard EX, pretty happy with that. Pretty happy with that. Oh yeah, did anyone clip my Charizards from the other day? Where we're pulling those Zards from, um... <laughs> did anyone clip where we pulled those Zards from Evolutions and things like that? Where I screamed my head off like a monkey? I haven't even seen it yet, because I was thinking someone would have clipped it.
the Charizard EX from Generations. Very similar to one found in Evolutions. And the Gardevoir EX Full Art. Damn, if that Charizard was a full art, it would be nice. But yep, very nice last pack. Very nice last pack. Yeah, it was a double banger. Just how we like them as well. Just how we like them. Um, where's my water? Oops, there's my water. I'm gonna keep the water up and the magic juice, which is actually almost out. I need a refill. Alright guys, what am I drinking? Water! Oh, beer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, look, I just have to hydrate in between, right? We'll get through these in another, another uh, video, guys. we got a few of these tins that I'd like to open. Alright guys, you know what time it is. You know what time it is. You know what time it is? It's fossil time. But hey, I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna do something cheeky. I'm gonna do something small and cheeky. I need to get well one, I need to get a new beer. Because that this one's empty. And two. I just wanna open up a couple more packs first, by the way. Do not know much about these packs? Let me know what you think about Platinum as well while I go get myself a, another beer. Give me one sec, guys. And we're back. Oh, this t-shirt, by the way. I remember to use it. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Well, we, we only made it yesterday. I mean, I, I already had it, but I just didn't have a use for it until we decided yesterday to chuck it up. Um, but, uh... <laughs> sexy packs lying around. Yeah, I do. I do. Um, this was from, um, damn, I did give them a shout out when it first arrived because I love the packaging and they gave me a freebie. Mm. So despite, not only did they give me a good price on this, which I was blown away by, um, they also gave me this freebie, which is, uh, the, it's Astonishing Vault, um, gum packs, which have a, um, Pokemon, Pikachu V Max in here. So there's a Pikachu V Max. Apparently, um, in Japan when it's released, there's only one part of Japan that you could get it from. Um, you know, I was reading on Reddit, all the kids saying, uh, with gum, absolutely with gum. I remember reading on Reddit, all the kids going, oh, I'm jumping on the train now, it's going to take me a while, but I I'm, 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 I'm going to make sure I get myself this, uh, this pack. So, I remember seeing it on Reddit, um, and I'm like, oh, that's cool, I wish I lived in Japan, you know, that'd be great to go get myself one of these. And then when I ordered this, after negotiating the price down, right, they still hooked me up with this beautiful freebie. So after trying to hustle a better price, I still got given a freebie. Guys, I did give them a shout out to where I got it from. I apologize for not um, not remembering their details now. Um, I'll make sure to have a copy of their details next time. 
So guys, for those that are just joining the channel um, or the stream, um, thank you for jumping on the stream. Um, if you are new, please give me a follow. It is much appreciated. The more follows lead us to more pack openings and subscriptions. You know, I want to open up some first edition packs, guys. So we have Rags the Riches, our number one first subscriber. And anyone else who subscribes, it really is helping this channel grow and helping me make more videos, right? So um, that's really it. And it's getting bloody warm in here. All right, guys. So before we get to this puppy, I do want to open up these. Now, just for you guys, we're going to open up one of these as well, right now, because I want to know what's in here, and you guys may want to know what's in here, and not only that, I've told the seller I will be opening it because the pack was damaged, so I need to open it up sooner rather than later, because he wants to know were the cards affected. Um, were the cards affected? So, for a buyer to find out, here we go, guys. First Pika Pika pack opened live in Melbourne. First Pika Pika pack opened live in Melbourne. I have checked. No one else has opened up any of these on a live stream before. Did the cards get any damage? Yes, they did. One card, one damage. Okay, so you want to get one or two cards, I believe, in these packs. And we have the non holographic Pikachu with damage, unfortunately. So I don't know if you guys can see right there, but we do have some minor damage to the card right there but that's okay nonetheless these are great promo cards to collect i do have a collection of pikachu cards um just because i'm a weirdo and so this will form part of that pikachu collection hey he's watching us from the hungry jacks waiting bay what a legend uh losing the states hungry jacks is our um uh burger king burger king so um Instead of calling it Burger King, we call it Hungry. J it's called Hungry Jacks here. Um, I don't know why, but it's uh, it is it is what it is. So guys, so that's what your PK Pika promo packs are. Okay, um, you can get hollows, you can get rares, blah blah blah. We have one, two, three, four, five, six remaining. Yeah, we do have Wendy's, and it is called Wendy's. Um, decent hot dogs. Decent. I'd say the best, but decent hot dogs. Decent hot, hot dogs. <laughs> Our Wendy's isn't the best though, man. Our Wendy's really isn't the best. Um, we have Carl's Jr. Carl's Jr. just recently started. Um, Carl's Jr. recently just opened up, um, you know, around Australia in the last um, last year and a half. Dude, ours only sells hot dogs, right? Yeah, yeah, they don't sell hot dogs in the States. But so Carl's Jr. recently just opened up around. I um I highly rate Carl's Jr. from the States and here. Um I know In N Out Burger's like the rage and everyone loves In N Out Burger. It's good. Um that like all ours sell. <laughs> That's like all ours at sell. Yep, so Carl's Jr. is more in uh, more around California. Um, that coast, really, that side of the country, I believe. Um, I guess the same with In-N-Out Burger, though. Um, In-N-Out, yeah, 100%, man. Like, In-N-Out's fries are terrible. Um, if any of you guys uh, have tried... Oh, no. Let's get rid of uh, JH Space. Yeah, unfortunately, we don't have five guys. Uh, so, and Shake Shack. Yeah, Shake Shack. Oh my god, Shake Shack's burgers. How good are they? How good are Shake Shack's burgers, right? Um, god, it's awesome. <laughs> Rags, yeah. Man, I've got to make you mod or something. Um, this is awesome. So, yeah, guys, Shake Shack's great. Um, but I said, um, you know, I just, I don't know why all this love for, um, 
for in and out when their fries are absolutely terrible. They're disgusting as well. Get the fries from Carl's Jr. Are great. So, go figure. Um, guys, also next episode, I'll be opening up a base booster pack. Um, so, we'll be opening up and the Holland Phantoms pack as well. These pop series, we're actually going to make a full episode just on pop cards, as I'll be receiving series 3, series 5, series 6, um, and 7 and 8 soon. So I want us, I want us to actually open all the um, Pokemon organized play cards together, as opposed to in separate batches, right? Uh, so that's going to be pretty exciting to go through as well. All right, guys, so you're here for the fossil. Well, I'm going to tease you first, because before we open the fossil, I'm going to open up some packs that I just have lying around that I want to open up, because I am trying to chase the gold card out of this set. Slant Boy. Do I know who Slant Boy is in the NFL, since you're a Saints fan? Oh, no. Oh, no. no I'm not that much of a fan, dude. I mean, Drew Brees is as far as I went, right? <sighs> No, no, I, I cannot tell you who you slam ball. This year, for me, honestly, has been a non-event for me. Whether it's AFL, so the Australian Football League, um, or any sport for that matter, 2020 just threw it out the window for me. Um, code card, for those playing along at home, we're just going through three Sword and Shield packs. Number wide receiver in the Saints is Slant Boy is his nickname. Number one, yeah, for you. Do you, have you played any NFL yourself? Did you play any college football? Yeah. Lightning energy. All right, guys, we're going to guess the energies for the next two packs, by the way. Uh, guess the energies next two packs. And, um, uh, you can have a uh, Crimson Invasion booster pack because I don't want them. <laughs> All right, let's go. Lightning energy, Corbus Squire. Wacky, Pokemon Catcher, Sobble, Blitplug, I kept forgetting his name in the Japanese. Uh, oh, you were starting quarterback for the uh, for the Saints last year. Nice, nice. <laughs> Baltoy, sure. Wulu, Joltik, Reverse Holographic Raichu, and a Corbin Knight non holographic Okay. Great. That's all for my master sets that I'll be collecting. Alright guys, get your bets in for the next energy card. Oh, good. A non-rare pack. Uh, get your bets in for the next energy. Alright. Sword and shield. Code. Gone. Uh, but for real, I'm on the 18-year-old boys national team for men's volleyball. You're six foot five. Wow. Wow. Okay. Awesome. That is that is really good stuff, man. It's really really good stuff. Uh, funny enough, volleyball was the sport I played in uh, in inter school sports. <laughs> I don't know why it was the one that had a, a spot left, right? Um, so anyway, uh, guys, port of the fronts. What's our energy? Yeah, no, seriously, it was the only sport I played in inter school sports. <laughs> uh, you, you know what? I think half the reason was because girls, used to, it was full of girls as well, so it was a way for me to continue to interact and talk to the chicks, so <laughs> go figure. All right, guys, so energy, we have two psychics. And what are you going to guess? I know you're in the States, but whatever. We can open it up for you and send some stuff your way. Anyone else on the stream that would like to get involved, we just got to guess the uh, guess the energy. The person that's guessed the most correct energies will get a prize. Did you seriously play volleyball as well, Hypnotics? Um, there you go. There you go. Um, so I played against like Lighthouse College, which I think is near uh, where you work, Hypnotics. Um, and a few of those um, those, uh, those Christian private schools. <laughs> uh, I'll hit you up after the uh, after the, uh, the the stream, uh, Ant. All right, guys. So we have fire and two psychic energies. 
fighting. No winners here. Energy Switch. Dotlock. Stuntfisk. Shelter. Brogunk. Silly Cobra. Minchino. Oh, sugar. Sorry, guys. Off the screen. Vulpix. Air Balloon. Nice. Shut up, Google. Reverse Hollow Air Balloon. And a non holographic Poltergeist. Oh. Oh, for any cards I do not have for my master set. Alright guys, last pack. No one chooses fighting at all. Ever. Ever. <laughs> Come on, at least give us a rare pack here. Yes, finally a rare pack out of three. One out of three. Was well, a rare pack, guys. That's your code card for those playing along at home. Got the big boost. Managed girls varsity volleyball team. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. I'm live on air. No comment. All right. Guys, we have the next one ready. Get your votes in. Get your votes in. Get your votes in. Get your votes in, get your votes in, get your votes in. Oh shit, the music's really loud. <sighs> or maybe not, you guys can tell me. All right, get your votes in, ladies and gentlemen. What energy will we be flipping in a second? As you all know, we got a few people who have just joined the channel. Uh, the boys will guess, boys and girls will guess the energy that we have behind this card right here person with the most correct guesses will win themselves a booster pack. Today's, or the booster pack that's currently up for grabs is a Crimson Invasion booster pack. A Crimson Invasion or a Guardians Rising booster pack. You guys can pick whichever one you want. I can either send it to you sealed or you can have me open it up on stream. Okay, so, all right guys, pick, we have Steel, we have Psychic. We have Psychic. Hey! Man, thanks for jumping back on. I know you were earlier, so we got a few Psychic fighting. Okay, cool, 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 cool. All right, all bets are in. No more bets, guys. Fire, Angie! Fire, fire! All right, guys, we have fire to start off with. Starting off this pack with a fire energy. Now, guys that have just jumped on the stream, please do give me a follow. Uh, it is much appreciated if you do, because I've got plenty more videos to come, including some vintage Wizard of the Coast, plenty more shiny star V boxes, um, and just plenty more all around. I, we have thousands and thousands of Pokemon packs to open. And we'll be doing it all with you. Maybe not thousands and thousands. Hundreds and hundreds, that's for sure. Probably just sitting shy of a thousand, though. All right. Fire energy. Guys, don't forget. Ten subs as well. We'll start to open up some first edition boosters. Let's make that happen, yeah? Kingler. Hyper Potion. Citrus Berry. Cuffment. Baltoy. Salandit. Galarian Ponyta. Minchino. Krabby. And a hollow copper Raja. Thousands wouldn't surprise me. Yeah, look, Hijau Dragon has been to my house. So um, he has an understanding of the uh, of the mountains that exist here. The mountains. The mountains that exist. All right, guys, so we've just finished our third pack from from Sword and Shield. You guys know what that means. It's time for us to open up this bad boy. Time to open up this bad boy.
All right, let's just update this. All right, guys. So, so yeah. As uh, as Hijau Dragon just said, um, I um, I my my dining room table, my dinner table, is covered in Pokemon cards. Our coffee table in front of the TV is covered in Pokemon cards. I have a box with my bathtub that's meant to be installed in our bathroom. And it's got the bathtub still on it. And that sits behind the couch. And that's covered in Pokemon cards. We have our bench in the kitchen. Which is covered in Pokemon cards. So, yeah. I, um... Well, look, the computer desks aren't that bad. I mean, they're slightly covered, but not incredibly covered. I tried to get it to work. <laughs> Guys, it's uh, it's pretty intense. So, that's right, I sent you pictures, Hypnotics. That's right. Yeah, yeah, the missus. So, uh, she doesn't like it. Alright, guys, here we are. Here we are, moment of truth. Woo! Woo! Woo wee! Woo wee! Woo! Guys, I am getting sweaty in here. I'm getting, it is, it is nerd. I'm getting nervous, guys. I'm gonna open the window here. God. All right, guys. Sweaty and star. Sweaty star. That'll uh, that'll ease the nerves a bit, guys. That'll ease the nerves a bit. Okay. A few things we need to do now. My hands are clean, but do I glove up? Do I glove up for this or not? It's not a first edition, so probably not. And so this is my current set of things that are going to be graded. Yeah, hands are clean. But I definitely will for first editions. So as I was saying earlier, I use these rigid top loaders, guys, for cars that I've liked. And that was purely because that was purely because I did not like these, which is what we're being told to use. Now, I'll just show you something quickly. Where'd my good one go from Palms Off Gaming? I'll show you quickly, guys. So I didn't like these ones because it honestly felt like every time I was putting the card in. That I was doing damage to the card. Um, it's really tight, it's like too tight, too rigid, too hard. Whilst here is actually so much easier. I can get it in without feeling like I'm damaging the card. You know, just slight. No, no, no. They do actually hypnotic. So um, we we do send a bunch through. They um, it just costs you a little bit more when you're sending them through. But they will absolutely take them out of top loaders. Um, so, guys, just so you know, they will take them out of top loaders. It is just more expensive to send them across, um, but they will take them out of top loaders. Uh, the only issues are if they cannot get the card out, that's when they will not uh, grade your card. Um, but they will, as long as it's easy to come out, which it is easier out of a top loader. The only problem is top loaders do add bulk to your postage, significant bulk and weight to your postage. And then when you're getting it sent back from PSA, it is also more expensive as well. So just a little little, uh, little tidbit, guys, just something that I came across. Uh, Palms Up Gaming is an Australian company as well, so I'm not sure if you Americans will be able to find it. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, the tags are literally to be able to pull them out. When did you send yours through, Ant? Yeah, there is. So if you go to Cherry Collectibles, they will um, take it off you and send it to Beckett's Grading. Um, oh, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Eh? Three to four weeks is, uh, is normal. Um, but yeah, Hypnotic. So Cherry Collectibles in Melbourne will actually grade your Beckett's. Uh, so we'll actually take it off while you manage it. They'll actually even do fingerprint removal and things like that and send it to Beckett for you and bring it back. They act as a middleman on that service. All right, guys. So we are onto the fossil pack. Onto the fossil pack. I'm going to quickly wash my hands because I, uh, I, I, I just want to touch. I, I just want to wash my hands. So as we do that, um, I'll put the music up for you guys. Hopefully, it's decent music. What is playing actually? What is playing? All right, it's uh, some copyright, non-copyright music, so it's all, all good. I'll be back in a second, guys. I'm back. I am back. Hands are clean. Aircon is on. Window is open. Fan is on. Ain't nothing gonna phase us now. A low carb beer. All right, guys. Let's go. Guys, I'm about to rip open into a fossil, fossil booster pack. For those that do not know, they're not just worth the pretty penny. They have some pretty cool cards in here. This is the start of many vintage openings, guys. As the channel is kicking off, we'll open more and more vintage packs. I am in talks with other people, but it all comes down to you guys and how much I can really afford these, right? So, um, again... Any follow is much appreciated. 10 subscribers will mean we get to open up some first edition packs and continue to grow this channel to open up some awesome things for you guys. So, um, you know, let's uh, let's make this happen, right? Let's get into it. I mean, I am buzzing like a mofo. Whew. I, um, I am getting slightly stressed out. I don't need to be. I'm just freaking out. Freaking out. So we'll cut it from the bottom of the top, guys. All right. Here we are. Sorry, just... Uh... All right. All right, guys. Mmm, smells good. It smell good. It smell good. <sighs> Guys, I am freaking. Out. Breaking out. Oh, it's upside down. It's upside down. All right. Vintage Wizard of the Coast. 
I'm just so I'm just so nervous, guys. I don't even know what to do here. I don't even know how to hold it. We're going to go through to the front. Oh, there's some bad whiting on these edges here. There is some bad whiting. Yeah, it is three from the back, my friends. Three from the back. Three from the back. We are starting with. Omastar. Okay. Wow. Wow. Okay, we've started off with a good, good, good card. We've started off with an Omastar. I'm actually going to sleeve that, but I've got to put it aside now. Everything's got to be sleeved. Cloister, another uncommon. You know what, we're going to put them here so you can see what we've pulled. Jeez guys, it's Uncommon Central. Slowbro. Zubat. Recycle. Mysterious Fossil. Uh, very cool to have that in here with the rest of the fossils. Kabuto evolves from a mysterious fossil. Oh, whoops. Pulling the wrong card there. Getting ahead of myself. Horsey. So I'm pretty happy with the uncommons we've pulled so far, guys. Oh my god. My hands are shaking. Oh, and our rare was a non-holo muck. Non-holographic muck. Nonetheless, a good pack. Nonetheless, I'm not going to be upset with this pack because I am very happy with some of the cards we have pulled out of it so far. Hey, Shalky! Alright, so our first Wizards of the Coast Vintage Pack Fossil Pack has been opened on the channel, guys. Thank you so much for all you joining. Guys, uh, Chalky, are you following? Have you followed our channel yet, mate? Guys, these, uh... These uncommons, pack fresh. I'm going to send them to get graded. I don't know how to, to be honest. <laughs> uh, these, these are pack fresh, so I'm going to send them to get graded anyway. Um, as the odds of me getting, you know, I, I could potentially get a 10. Um, and the odds of me ever getting a 10 any other time um, will be pretty slim to none. Right? So pretty slim to none. Yeah, I do want to open up some more quick things that are hypnotics before we do jump on. But yeah, jump on the switch. But before we do jump on the switch, I'll need a quick breather. Um, give me half an hour between streams and I'll jump straight on to uh, Ho-Ho Chasing with you, man. I've read your comment, Rex. I've read your comment, and and um, I've always thought that. I've always thought that. Does anyone else think that Recycle is a weird card? Yeah, man. It definitely is a bit creepy. Damn, this has actually got a print line right down the middle. Right down the center. Right down the center, this has a print line. As if, um, 
Where is he? Where is he? Where is our Greek little fella? Uh, where is he? Alkiri! Alkiri! Mate, you still watching? This is this guy. This guy. I've actually bought a few boosters off this guy. Um, he's in the stream. Um, he was here earlier. Um, I have bought a few boosters off him in the past. He is a collector of first edition, uh, mainly first edition cards. Um, and he has a bucket load of first edition cards. Pretty much as the first two to three sets in first edition. All right, guys, sorry. You're just watching me sleeve all these, but uh, it must be done. It must be done. So, guys, also, I um, I did get this packet quite, like, for a very, 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 very good price. Um, normally, you'd be paying around about 500-odd for a non-first edition fossil pack. Um, so... In saying that, value of return that I got from this pack for what I paid for it is actually worth it. Had I paid the going rate for um, for this booster pack, uh, I dare say it wouldn't have been a positive result. Um, I'd probably be about two to three hundred dollars shy. Uh, they do say roughly um, twenty dollars a card. Uh, well, I mean if it's Actually, not at this point now because it's not first edition. So, at this point, you're probably looking at ten dollars a card. Um, so about, you know, you'd add on a little bit for some of the rares and the like. So you'd say the cards are probably worth hundred and fifty odd dollars, potentially to two hundred. Uh, if we get some tens out of here, this would be good. Um, so if we can grade this and get some tens, you'll get some good money for PSA tens. Um, but we'll just have to see how the cookie crumbles on that one. Actually, it may, so it may not go into this box because I actually want to grade it. My non-gradable bank. The babies will go. Okay, guys, so that was my first... <laughs> oh, yes, I have a few uh, random boxes. Here. Ultimate Guard box here. Some various. I like. Um, but yeah, alright, guys, so I did say I want to open up a few more things with you guys today on the channel while we're here. We have a whole 10 people viewing, so thank you all for coming on and joining. It has been great fun, actually. Um, I really want to open up another vintage pack just because that just got me excited and wanting to open vintage, but I really wanted to sponsor at least try and, you know, get the message out there that I'm opening up vintage before I just randomly start doing it like I did today um, because I'm just so excited and want to do it, right? So, plenty of other stuff to open. And, uh, I want to quickly open up some vivid voltage. Like right this place. 10 people, come stand in front of the class and introduce yourself. Man, I've tried to do this. It's just you guys that talk. A lot of people like watching and not talking. Come on, talk. Get up there and talk, guys. Tell us who you are, where you're from. Where you from? I play an Aussie hip hop track for you guys called Where You From, but I don't want this video to get poo pooed by um by uh, the streaming powers that be. Come on, all right. We know we know Rex Richards is in here. We know Shafty's in here. We know Hypnotics is in here. I'm D Derry from Delaware. I enjoy fishing and playing my guitar. No, he's not. <laughs> Come on, guys. Stand up in front of the class. Tell us who you are. Oh, Hypnotics is a streamer. Fellow streamer. Um, 
plays the games. Uh, is an absolute machine when it comes to Rocket League. I was watching one of his streams the other day. Hypnotics, I'm just going to talk about you for a second. I was watching one of your streams the other day. And um, god damn, you were good at playing uh, Rocket League. Jeez, no wonder you stream that stuff. People have told me to stream playing games. I'm like, but I'm not that good. You know, I've, so I've got the PS5 and I'm playing um, Miles Morales. And everyone's like, oh, I should stream Miles Morales. I'm like, mm, I'm terrible, dude. Why, why would why anyone want to watch me try and swing around these buildings like an absolute mob? <laughs> All right, guys, code card. For those playing along at home, here's a Darkness Ablaze card for y'all. Order the front, the Darkness Ablaze. Oh, I forgot to do the guessing game, guys. Who else is in the channel? Come on. Vanillish. Come on, guys. There's 10 of you. There's 10 of you, and I only see four or five talking. Who's in here? Who's being the voyeur? Vanillish. Clang. Clickety Clang. Gotharika. Rowlet. Jiggly. Having a puff. Diglett. Hanpua. Spinnerack. Clickety Clang. In the reverse. And the non-holographic Galarian Dark Manitan. Awesome. Evolves from the Galarian Daramuka. Awesome. So, boyers, come on. Step forward, boyers. Who are you? What do you do? Oh, another boring pack, supposedly. That's why I want to open up some VV Voltage. PGK, 4X, PB, ZCD, 6LN. Don't know why I read that out to you guys. Four to the front. And we have Water Energy. And again, I got carried away. It's because I'm thinking about what I'm going to do next. Spike Moot. Cape of Toughness, Vibrava, Pubchu, Wimpod, Bunnelby, Toxel, Sinus T, Shinotech in a reverse holographic, very cool Pokemon, and a Betty in a non holographic. Okay, so Darkness Ablaze, done and dusted. I don't want any of that. I'm just chasing the chase cards in Darkness of Blaze, by the way, guys. In case you're wondering. So, the other day... Oh, guys, also... I have a bunch of these promo cards. Anyone would like these promo cards, please message me after... After the stream. And you can have any of these. I have stacks of them. Stacks. So guys, hit me up. Hit me up if you want any of these promo cards. And these boxes are really cool. So just in case, Psychic next. All right, we got Psychic and then Fighting. So these packs here, guys. Are bloody awesome. I was gonna say freaking awesome. you get one evolutions, you get two cosmic eclipses, you get a unified minds. It is great. Guys, your code card for those playing along at home. Beautiful. All right, let's make this happen. So no one's yet to score in the game. Oh. And there's a Guardians Rising. That's what you guys are playing for. I don't, I don't open Garden, Guardians Rising, guys. Because if I if I open up every single pack... Equinix, thanks for joining me, my man. Um, guys, if I open up every single 
pack that I got, I'd be up the proverbial creek, right? So, Cosmic Eclipse. How good is that? Piplup and Old Mate Blastoise. Yes, yes, most certainly. And I'll put a list together just for you and of Unified Minds codes. Okay, guys, starting off with Cosmic Eclipseola. Y'all know I love this set. <laughs> that would cost you a subscription. Man, Ant's been here since day one. OG, true OG. I'm having trouble opening this, so I'm just going to cut it open. And let's get her out of here. Yes, 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 yes. Slurg, day one, absolutely. Oh, what? There you go, he just shared some rewards. Oh, what? He's gifted a subscription, wow! Holy moly! What the? Oh my god, Rex and Riches, you absolute legend! This guy! This guy just give for the tier one sub to N. Whoa. 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 What an absolute legend. What an absolute legend. Thank you. You're the only what an absolute legend. I don't care what you smell! Uh, his, like, weapons malfunction. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I just had to go crazy. That was insane. What the hell? You are an absolute legend, man. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What an absolute legend. <laughs> Guys, absolute legends. That is awesome. That is awesome. All right, so we've got Cosmic Eclipse coat out of the way. Wow. Oh, man. Four to the front. I know, but man, he responded asking, you shall receive psychic energy. Someone guessed psychic earlier. Chowky guessed psychic. There we go. Shalky on the board. Shalky on the board. All right, let's add him in here. Shalky on the board. Why is it so big? <laughs> oh, that's good enough. Shout you on one. Bud Light Seltzer for the sub celebration. Boom! <laughs> yeah, Rags. <laughs> that's oh, by the way, so Rags has just taken um two, two awards, by the way. Number one, he's the first subscriber. Number two, he's now taking the award of the number one gifter on the channel. What an absolute legend. All right, guys. So, Psychic Energy, Shalky on the board. Heracross. Oh, if anyone knows, I'm a huge Heracross fan, right? Yep. That's good. Yeah. VMAX Special Celebration. Uh, special Collection. Yeah, so guys, uh, just as Shouky said, Heracross, um, I have mad, mad love for Heracross. I think in the series, he is hilarious. Oh, shiny Heracross when we are hunting her. I feel it, man. That's awesome. I got it. Awesome. Good stuff, man. 
Yeah, sick Pokemon. If I could have my own Heracross just hanging out with me 24-7, just like my little guy, I can give him a pat and stuff and take him around with me, I would. Hands down. Like, hands down. Sorry, Doggo. I know you're looking at me a bit sad there. I, you too. I'll take you and Heracross together on journeys. Lily's Pokedoll. Dragonium Z. The Dragon Claw. Spiel. Upside down spiel. Rolling around on his back like my puppy does. Natu. Palpito. Jang, um, Jang Mo O. Dealing. The seasonal Pokemon. Reverse Holo Roxy. And a non holographic lantern. Thank you for coming, Cosmic Eclipse. Yola. Next Cosmic Eclipse pack as we double up. What breed is my puppy? I have a half American Staffordshire Terrier and a half English Staffordshire. So basically just half, half Staffy. With blue bloodlines. Both parents. Although, yeah, because one's American, one's uh, English. So he's, he's come out quite short, which is what we wanted, right? Uh, so you got a Roddy. Oh, nice. So he, we wanted, we didn't want him to be huge, like a normal Amstaff, right? So hence the, uh, hence the hybrid in his blood, right? Guys, yeah, Cosmic Eclipse codes. Cosmic Eclipse code. Yeah, he's like semi midget, semi not. So English ones are really short, with short legs. He's got like longish legs, but then he just doesn't get, he just doesn't grow, right? He's seven years old and he's still tiny. <laughs> All right, code card out of the way, guys. Four to the front. Oh, oh, it's too late. I just showed it. Yeah, I know. I don't know, man. I showed it, didn't I? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My bad. I'll open up an extra pack for that one, guys. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know. Relief. Rotom. Erica, Togedemaro, Trepid. I'm going to open up an extra pack for that one. Flabby, Tangler, Duskull, Reverse Holo Eevee, which we have pulled before, and a non-holographic Palo Sand. Evolves from Sandcastle. Yeah, all right. I'll do it properly this time, guys. That's my fault. I will wear that. And as a result, I'm frothing. Pile of sands. Oh, God. Do not get Shalky started on inanimate Pokemon. He really gives me a lot of strife over liking Pokemon that shouldn't be Pokemon, apparently, in his eyes. Anyone's game. Only one on the board. Guys, what I'm doing right now is just opening up another tin. I actually don't mind Klefki, but Shalki will tell you right now, he despises it. Oh, wow. Okay. That is a very cool coin, guys. Um, there is actually a series, there is a group of people that just collect, you know, pins and coins from the Pokemon series. So, um, I guess because it's Maybe cheaper and easier than the cards themselves, but this is cool. I I personally do collect a few of the cool ones and get make sure I keep one of everyone. Is there a code for that coin? Yes, there's sh I mean a code card. So guys, also in these, I'm not sure if you know, but in these tins, um, you get an art, you know, some artwork here, some cards that and, and on the back, it will be, you know, some information about the Pokemon on that card. Now, when you put them all together, you get this full cool scene here with each of these cards. And this card here is just part of that scene there. It is also replicated on the back of the tin. So, the scene on the back of the tin here is also the same scene that this forms a part of, which is that panel right there. And as you collect each tin, each tin at the front will look different. And as a result, we'll have a different card inside to form your display. I actually have a few of these on display elsewhere, as I think they're pretty cool. Um, but anyway, 
enough about my weird collecting problems. Uh, also, I do have a spare Grookey tin. If anyone does want the Grookey tin with the card, um, and I can send anything, I can send you a bunch of um, cool stuff in there as well. Uh, for any of my, that's my bonus to you. Subs get first dibs. So Rags, first dibs is yours. Um, what the hell? Did I just pull a? Is that all I pulled out of that tin? It's meant to have an evolution pack. It was meant to have an evolution pack. Oh, they sold out, man. Sold out long, long ago. Scalpers cleared off the shelves and started selling them for an absolute pretty penny. Sorry, guys. I'm just opening up my other tin now because I've never opened up one that doesn't have a evolution pack in it. I'm tripping out. What the hell? Again. Here's the uh, the beautiful card from this art scene. But no, I just got a sword and shield and a sun and moon. This was meant to have evolutions. That is really sad, guys. So sometimes Pokemon will, um, yeah, they'll see, I'll literally just pull the seal off. Um, but sometimes Pokemon do change them around. Yeah, it must have changed. Yep. And they do that stuff to us so often in these mystery tins. Um, deck manufacturer date. Good, good. Oh, well, okay, so these are the most recent tins, guys. So they must have just released a newer batch of these. They must have done a new batch of these, guys, because these were originally 2019 tins. These are 2019 tins, and they said 2020 on them. Can anyone correct me? I was really excited for more evolutions. All right, well, I won't have any more evolutions till uh, till Sunday the 28th, guys. So this Sunday, I'll be getting more evolutions. I do have an evolution booster box. Uh, yeah, they did the same to the um, small but mighty boxes. I bought a small but mighty box from that stuff, and um, they had no evolutions in it. And they, oh, they took that burning shadows and put sun and moon. Oh, that's just a rip. Yeah, look, I've grabbed, I've grabbed, um, I've grabbed 10 Shining Fates mini tins, guys. I'm hoping, um, hoping there's something good in there apart from just Shining Fates. But who knows? So I'll let you know when they arrive in March. Um, but yeah, look, let's, let's get through this. And guys, honestly, if you do, want to see me open up more evolutions if you guys are evolutions fans i do have a booster box of evolutions My favorite set. I mean, unless you're a millionaire, you'd have booster boxes of base. Now, if you can't afford that, you go for the next best thing, in my opinion, which is evolutions. Um, and so, you know, I would love to open this, but I can't because I just keep thinking about the value. So the only way I'm going to open this is if you guys push me, sub, promote, get this out there, and then get me to the point where I'm like, oh, I don't want to open up this... Um, because these are selling for stupid prices, and I paid stupid prices, right? So, got the Zard Evolution ETB, but didn't keep the box sealed. Yep, I've got a Zard Evolutions 
um, elite trainer box, guys, arriving tomorrow or the day after. I've got a Charizard. Series 5 Pokeball Tin. Get it. Get it. If you can get them for under $20, get the Series 5 Pokeball Tin. People are reselling them now for well above that. Um, I've seen them even selling for, you know, $40, which is just stupid. Um, but get yourself Pokeball Tins. Uh, it's a really good value. Really, really good value, man. $24. Um, yeah, $24 is a bit tough to make a call on the Pokeball Tin. Have a look at one of my previous videos, though, if you are interested to see what's in it. If it's an Ultra Ball, I've opened up an Ultra Ball in the past. Um, guys that were saying, don't open this. And, yeah, look, I want to, though. I want to, but I don't. I I'm in that position where I'm like, I really want to open this, but I don't. Really want to open it. I really want to open it. All right, let's get into these packs, guys. Oh, right. EB Games. It's in stock. I might get a few then. I may get a few then. But I mean, I, just so those that know, EB Games is um, is our GameStop, so they do charge a bit more than everybody else. No, nah, and EB Games, well, maybe in Canada, but um, but our, our local GameStop is actually, uh, so it's owned by GameStop, and it is uh, it is in Australia. All right, guys, I'm only going to open up one Sun and Moon pack here. Oh, God. The other way I'm winning is my giveaway pile, so hopefully the other one's better. Yeah, man, I'm really hoping these, um, you know, we can just always open up evolutions because uh, I love opening up evolutions, guys. I love opening up evolutions, in case you can't tell. Um, so I just don't want to be spending stupid amounts of money opening it up, right? All right, let's get our energies in, ladies and gentlemen. Wow, the quality of that card is so bad. Uh, also, guys, I will be getting... Um, my microphone this week so i know some people have made comment about how poor my audio can be from my voice um so we are fixing that and i will most definitely have a new microphone this week all right guys we have fire psychic dark energy fighting energy shalke you're on the board man be your time Turn to uh, get something out, or these people are going to catch up very quickly. <gasps> he just got in. All right, no more bets. Oh, damn, you eating good, son. Now, lobster actually is stupidly expensive in Australia compared to even in the States. Um, so, like, stupidly expensive. Until lately when China decided to stop buying our seafood and then it's dropped to, like, $20 a kilo, $30 a kilo from $80 a kilo. So some good sugar there. All right, guys, we have fire, psychic, dark, fighting, and grass. Hey, wow. Double whammy from Shouki. There we go. He on the board twice, boy. Oh, there we go. We can select font size here. Ha! <laughs> Probably a bit too small. <laughs> I've really muffed this, but anyway. You were actually tossing up between dark and grass. So, Rags, have you noticed that the price of lobster in, in Australia is just, just completely crashed? I read an article about it yesterday. Oh, crayfish, sorry. Crayfish is $20 a kilo. Grass energy. Timeable. Palipa. One of my very first shiny I caught in Pokemon Go outside of a community event was actually the 
pre-evolution of Palipa. Ultra Ball. Wingo. There we go. We we're just talking about old mate Wingo. Noodle. Lillipup. Very first shiny from this generation was a Lillipup. And in fact, it had just been released. My third Lillipup I tapped on in Pokemon Go. Boom. Sparkles. Just how we like him. Bounce sweet. Say yay yay, say duck. Woolies had to put a limit per customer. They were selling it so cheap. Yeah, maybe I should go show, go get some today. I actually haven't uh, formed part of it. Yeah, yeah, I know. Shao Key getting excited over the beautiful artwork in that uh, Shao Key. What is Woolies? <laughs> Woolies is um our grocery supermarket. Um, so our our, 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 our pharmacies, our, our, our chemists or pharmacies, um, don't stay open 24 seven with groceries. Our grocery shops stay open, um, not 24 seven, but we'll stay open till like midnight. Um, and there's two main, main people like, um, Coles and Woolworths, um, that, that sell groceries, um, are oh, awesome. So it's slightly different to how you guys have it up there. And a Cosmoium. I do... Oh, guys from the States, I am... Yeah, no, no 24 hours. Yeah. <laughs> Man, so these guys, anything they need, they just go straight to the camp, to the pharmacy that's open 24-7 and get anything they want, right? Like, you go to Walgreens. You go to Walgreens, right? Which is a pharmacy. And they sell Pokemon mystery boxes that they make themselves. Like, it blows my mind. Young Goose. Oh, yeah, that was it. Oh, that's right, because we went to Cosmoium. Okay, Sun and Moon, thank you very much for a whole lot of nuts. Um, where do we get snacks from when we got Mudgies at 4 a.m.? Now, there are some petrol stations open. Yes, yeah, so no CVS. CVS is a pharmacy. We don't have pharmacies selling us goodies. Pharmacies here generally just sell medical stuff, right? Um, yeah, yeah, so CVS, no word of a lie, is great when you're in the States. Um, here, we can just go to the local servo, as we like to refer them as, or you guys would call them a petrol station. A petrol station. Uh we call it a servo because it's a service station. At Walgreens Pharmacy, they sell mystery power boxes exclusive. Correct. So for the Aussies watching, um, that, that stuff's insane. So I've got those Walgreens mystery power boxes on their way. Um, I'm receiving or a gas station. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I've got them on their way. They're probably about a week or two weeks away. Yes. Thank you. Gas station. Gas station. Gas station. What did I call it? Anyway, we call them a servo, all right? A server station. It's a servo. Um, sword and shield. Because, and we put petrol in cars, not just gas. <laughs> sword and shield, guys. Here's a code. Did you get that one, by the way, Ant? Petrol. Big fans of the petrol. What's the American? It's called gas. The petrol is called gas. <laughs> it's still gas, man. It's still gas. Is it natural gas? Oh, did, 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 did I reveal that one? Did I reveal that one? All right, clearly not. <clears throat> gas, gas, and liquid gas. Seriously, hypnotics, is that it? Okay, we got double fire. Slurg from Brooklyn. What up? Wait, isn't this Slurg from Australia? <laughs> All right, guys, come on, get your bets in. Uh, Shao Key, I'm about to call it on you, man. All right, no more bets. Shao Key's missed out on this one. 
Brooklyn is also a suburb in Melbourne. It most definitely is. <laughs> All right, guys. So, Shao Key, sorry, mate. You missed out on this one. We have fire, fire, fire. Holy moly, fire. Everyone went fire. Everyone went fire, but we just got the opposite of fire that sent. <laughs> Grass type. I thought I leaked it too. <sighs> Pokemon Center Lady. Energy Retrieval. Ferrothorn. Chew to Are you working at the moment, Shaoki? Rhyhorn. That's actually not a bad artwork on there. Rookie D. What a rookie. Krabby with some cool lip looking trippy art artwork. Rookie. Reverse holographic hoot hoot. Thank you for the follow. Gwigazex. Thank you, my man. How you doing? Hoot hoot in the reverse. Hello from Brazil. Jeez, what time is it in Brazil? Hey, Zama Zenta V in English this time. That is pretty cool. As for my master set, ladies and gentlemen, I am collecting a Sword and Shield master set. I can... <sighs> Man, Ant, are you drinking? <laughs> Ant, are you drinking? So what time is it, um, Gwig... Uh, Gigazex. Gigazex. Thank you for the. Yep, Zamazenta. Um, Gigazex, were you in earlier for some of the pools? 11.43 pm. Hijau Dragon lives in Egypt. I thought last time you lived in Indonesia. Can you pick your uh, your, your uh, place of your home? Love how it has stars in stream chat, but does in the stream. Okay. Is that up? Yeah, man. Uh, does, doesn't that double as your pickup line? Yeah, it does. Pandemic got bad. Had to flee Indonesia to Egypt. So I don't know if it's going to be much better. Uh, no, the Brazilian guy did not say he lives in Egypt. That was Hijo Jagger, Dragon. Um, that said he lives in Egypt. Um, it's 11... 43 P. No, no, no. I didn't ask you. I'm asking Brazil. Is Brazil the same time as America? Yeah, they're the same color. Yeah, yeah. Wait. Brazil, are you guys in the same time zone as New York City? Surely not. This is going to sound really dumb, but... He's saying they're right there. Right? They are. Next. <laughs> Man, you said 11.43. I'm like, how can that be? I know it's South America, but like, jeez. Like, five hours difference, right? Code. What's the time in Brazil right now? Alright guys, let's get our uh, let's get our bets in. Let's get our bets in. <laughs> let's get our bets in. While we're getting our bets in, guys, I'm going to go quickly grab another beer. Rain. Drink. I went on Google. Hey, Google. What's the time in Brazil? Like 1.45am in Brazil. <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, just, I, I just Googled it as well. Mm. 
<laughs> Hit you, dragon. Look at what you're doing. Well, honestly, thanks for joining from Brazil. That's awesome. Brazil, um, a lot of Brazilians into Pokemon from, uh, even locally here, I meet, I meet through the Pokemon scene a lot of Brazilians. Um, it's interesting. They love Pokemon. Do you call your mum, mummy? Oh, oh. So, just, just for a bit of background, um, and my, uh, my parents are actually from Egypt, so that's why, this, that's why Hijo Dragon keeps, uh, ripping out the funny jokes. Um, <laughs> oh. um, on to the next track, on to the next track. <laughs> we don't have basements or attics here in, um, here in Australia, really. We do not have basements and attics here in Australia. All right, guys. So, um, uh, we is it? Uh, we are playing a game where we guess the energy. Um, we guess the energy, and um, and uh, if you win, and you've got the most points, I send out a booster pack to you. Pretty simple. Um, I know you're in Brazil, but Brazil's postage isn't that cheap, especially for a letter. It's not that bad actually. So. Let's do it. All right, so we had some guesses earlier. We had dark, fighting. Are we doing it all over again? What? Why? Oh, why don't we have basements or attics here? I don't know. It's just, it's weird. We don't have basements or attics here. Can anyone help explain why? <laughs> all right, we got all our bets in. Dark. Grass, dark, and then no grass. Pick one. I'm taking your last one. Grass. Where do we throw parties? In the backyard. Because, oh, that's right. We have big backyards. Jamaican herbal energy for you. <laughs> I'll take that as green. <laughs> All right, guys. So, we have... Dark. Hypnotics went fighting. Oh, he's back to fight. He's here again. Okay. All right. We have land. <laughs> Hey, um, Shalke, have you put your bed in? Oh, water. Okay, cool. Yeah, what? Oh, what? Wait a minute. You're in, you're in New York. There's no way you would have a bigger backyard. All right. The energy is being shared now. Dark energy. Some... Oh, you're... And you had dark, man. You had dark. You had dark. Why did you switch? <laughs> no, honestly, man, there's no way. Must commit. Yeah, that's it. Hey, hey honestly, um, there's no way you guys would have bigger, bigger backyards than our whole house. Like, it is, honestly, it's, we have big lands. Big charm. Round energy. <laughs> sea King, the king of the sea. Wacky, getting a good whacking in. Goldie, Rosalia, Joltik. I'm joking, my backyard is the city. <laughs> Silly Cobra, Blip Plug, Galarian Reverse Hollow Ops the Goon, and a non holographic Drapeerion. Thank you, Sword and Shield, for providing not very much. You out there? Tony Stark is my neighbor. Central Park is pretty big. Yep. Um, so, guys, if you weren't here in yesterday's chat, I told these boys I cannot wait to get up to New York City. And, uh, and these guys have promised to uh, keep me entertained. They promised me a white Christmas. Those that know me will know that I'm going to thoroughly enjoy that.
Match the hot chick on Tinder. Apparently, she's been in a few of my Rocket League streams. Man, that is awesome. That is actually good stuff. All right, guys. Unified Mo Minds Code. Ready for the redemption. Let's go. Guys, I'm going to use uh, Scotsman's little uh, let's go emojis here. Oh. Can I? Oh, yeah, my emotes. They're under my emotes. All right. This guy's hilarious, by the way. This is honestly moist. <laughs> he loves the word moist. So do I. <laughs> All right. All right, so where do we go? Let's go. Pipe that. <laughs> Fighting, grass, water, water, psychic. Ants. Water or fire? <sighs> Ants. I'm sticking with your last one. Fire. No more bets. Slug on the board with the grass. Petrol energy. Gas energy to you, Hijau Dragon. Weed energy. Jamaican herbal energy. Oh, you did guess it right. Beer energy. What is that? Lightning? Bibberow. Dowblade. Oranguru. It would be so good to get the shiny version of this one in shiny star B. Cryogonal. Marini. Formantis. Riolu. Herloin. Young Goose in a reverse holo again. And a necrosma. Necrophilia has been pulled. Beer energy is great. It's fighting because of the bar fights. Alrighty, guys. So I was hoping to have a have a lot more. Uh, <laughs> Why do I have the funniest people in my chat? <laughs> Having a piss up and a barbecue tonight. Maybe I'll get on the now. Well, well, hypnotics, I think that is a great idea. Guys that are just joining, I've just noticed a few people have just jumped on the stream. Um, we are having a whole lot of fun at the moment. Um, we've been opening up a whole bunch of stuff at the moment. Um, Ant saying he's carrying the team right now with his hilarity. And, um, and guys, we've ripped open a Shiny Star V box with some pretty cool stuff. Um, and, uh, yeah, do it, Hypnotics. Get right into it. Uh, we opened up the Shiny Star V box, guys. Uh, we've opened up a Fossil Wizards of the Coast pack. Um, and a whole bunch of other stuff, including Generations from back in the day. So... Um, this is awesome. Absolutely awesome. Absolutely, guys. Half an hour out of this stream, up this stream, but straight off, jump onto Hypnotics. Give him a follow, guys. Um, he he's really really good. Oh, calling fire and Azad. Please don't do that to me, man. Oh my god, it's a rare pack as well. Oh, happy days! Calling beer energy. All right, we've got fire. Pikachu's going to come hang out with me on my shoulder. All right, we've got fire. Beer energy. Solar and So we got beer. we we got fire fighting. Solar energy, um, fire, and water. 
What do you reckon, Pikachu? What's up? <laughs> Wait! Alright, what are we waiting for? Guys, I'm gonna glue Pikachu. I'm gonna stitch Pikachu to my next top. If I call the NGN as a side, I have to get the side. Oh, sugar. No, 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 no. If anyone, it's learned for calling, it's a fire and a zard. Yeah, Slurg, you definitely get it. Code card. Three to the front. Doesn't mean you guys can always play this game. I've decided to just throw it to him this one time. Fire and Azad. Okay, we got all bets in. Yeah, we've, we've... Shut up. Sorry, this particular Google device is not... Okay. Just muted her. All right, guys, no more bets. I should work at the, uh, the local casino. <laughs> and it's evolution as well. I don't know why we even did it. <laughs> yeah, no, this particular Google's not connected to the uh, the network. Uh, double colorless energy, guys. No one was going to guess that one. And I should have known evolutions. We shouldn't have played the game. <laughs> wow, anti-climax. As... I'm going to open up another pack just for that. Don't worry, guys. Charmeleon. Electabuzz. How's the centering as well? Centering is really good. This is probably this is actually a really good print quality evolutions, which is rare. Man, imagine if somebody said double. <laughs> Ghastly with the graffiti in the background. Always thought that was cool growing up. Nah, man, definitely not. I got plenty more packs we can keep opening. There's ten people viewing, or watching. We can keep going. It, Man, yesterday when it was just me and Rags the Riches at the end, I still kept going, so <laughs> it's like, no nah, man, save the rest for tomorrow. <laughs> I just got smashed and just kept going. Weedle, reverse hollow Nidoran. All right, guys, here we go. Ooh, we got the hollow, holy wrath. Hollow, holy wrath. Very cool. I'm very happy to have him in my set. Very happy to have him in my set. Guys, there's something I want to open. That's a weird looking Zard. <laughs> I'm going to open this. Mate, any Snorlax look right here. Have a look at that artwork, guys. Is Snorlax eating an Eevee? Yeah, it's our dragon. <laughs> Snorlax, off the bat. Guys, can I ask a question? Is Snorlax eating an Eevee? Hey, Eevee's not a dog. Eevee's a bunny. Eevee's a bunny with a beard. <laughs> this is not like third attempt at a tag team. He's currently eating his second partner. Oh my god. So, I, um... Yeah, so, it's something I really want to open, guys. Um, so... I don't know if I'm going to do it today, but it's something I really want to open. Um, and as I said, on the 28th, 
when uh, PGI Dragon hooks me up with the uh, uh, box of evolutions. Uh, just another one of these, um, one of these evolutions um, Pinto power boxes. Uh, because these are for display only. I don't want to open them up, so I'll be opening up another one. Pretty soon, it's just Snorlax GX. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. All right, guys. So I need to get this Typhlosion out of here. So we're going to be opening this pack right up now. Hey, beautiful. That's that's what we want to hear. Good stuff, Rags. For the follow over at Hypnotics. Unbroken bonds. Let's go. Let's go. Um, Slurk, if you do want one of these, I will be doing another order soon for more unbroken bonds. Um, so let me know if you did more. Coin. And code card from the pack. Uh, it is 4.02 in the afternoon p.m. for us. P.M. That's your code card. And this is half the reason why I wanted to make sure I opened this. I really wanted the Typhlosion. Really wanted the Typhlosion. Girls are hungry but can't leave, my guy. Oh, no. Oh, no. You're an absolute legend. No. <laughs> Don't make me feel bad. You're going to make me feel bad, Rex. I don't swear, so my, my friends actually let their kids watch me too, so, um, although the chat isn't exactly PG. Guys, just had to sleeve this baby up. Typhlosion. Um, playing black and white, Cyndaquil was my starter, and hence my little extra love there. All right, so when am I visiting Melbourne? Are the borders open? Unfortunately not. And we've actually just... Um, oh, no, actually, we haven't shut our borders between us and Rags. Um, other, other, you know, uppity states that feel like they want to shut them, have shut them. But mate, nah, look, honestly, if you come down here, we'll show you an absolute great time in Melbourne. All right, guys, here we go. How good is this pack? Let's start off with pack I don't care, which I care for the least. All right, unbroken bonds, ladies and gentlemen. Brooklyn, the club. Hey, Slug, there's a suburb here in Melbourne called Brooklyn as well. How is COVID over there? Um, so Melbourne has zero cases. Um, so so and Victoria has zero cases. Um, and New South Wales has a few cases, a minor outbreak, I think 28 cases or something like that, which has just caused the country to go into panic mode um, because we we've, 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 we thought we kind of battled it and we've got enough contact tracing to understand where these are coming from. But right now that 26 odd in Sydney um, New South Wales. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, Rex Riches. I believe it's in Sydney because um, I was meant to go there for work and my boss, uh, our, our company, said I'm not allowed to go. Um, mainly because they didn't want me getting stuck there for two weeks, you know, in a two week quarantine. Um, but yeah, I was meant to go to Sydney and my boss, um, half my schoolmates have COVID. Yeah, Sydney Northern Beaches. That's right. Sorry, it was Northern Beaches. Yeah, yeah. So around Bondi and stuff like that. Um, so we're assuming maybe people that have come in over um, from flights because they said that people that were flying in from international flights had 2.5% of 
Uh, 2.5% of them had COVID. Um, so we just needed to make sure we had good quarantining, um, good, you know, proper systems in place um, to kind of avoid that. Um, so, yeah, we have about 26 community transmission or 26 cases in, in, in the community right now um, in New South Wales where we're just um, finalising contact tracing to understand where they came from. Um, and I keep looking at myself now, really need to save, guys. <laughs> All right, have I done the uh, switcheroo? No, I haven't. You have more than 20 in your school. <laughs> yeah, no, look, when we started seeing the NBA teams and the football teams and everyone copying it, we realised it's probably pretty widespread then. <laughs> um, so, look, we... we um, I mean, Einstein, that's your local news. So join us next time. <laughs> Guys, um, now look, Melbourne was the worst. Victoria was the worst in our whole country. And every other state was giving us so much hell because our numbers were like through the roof, like crazy numbers. And um, and it, like, it was it was just insanity, some of the numbers we were pulling. And, and the rest of the country was like, okay, you guys stay in your little pocket, sort out your, sh your sugar until uh, until you've got it all sorted, then we'll open you back up again. And we had to prove it was all sorted, all fixed. We, we stuffed up a bit of the quarantining things and that's how it kind of happened. But once we got it all under control again, it was all right. And then summer came around and um, apparently summer helps burn, burning, burning them off. So, all right, guys, metal energy. Ah, uh, sorry, I jumped the gun. I jumped the gun because I got carried away talking about... Um, and you guys are wrong anyway. <laughs> I got carried away talking about um, politics, which I realised I probably shouldn't be. News. <laughs> metal core barrier. Fire crystal. Devolution spray Z. The COVID report. Cubone. Riolu. Porygon. Inke. Caterpie. Volcanion. And a aromatici. Metal. Oh, autocorrect. Yeah, damn, damn that autocorrect. Guys, I'm actually gonna, I'm, I'm actually gonna play a track, which makes me quite happy at the moment. So, it's this new Pokemon trap music, and I've got it in the background of my intro because it's royalty free. Um. Here we go, one hour version. That's what I want. <sighs> oh, guys, love this music. Tell me off about it later. Now, if you do want to change, let me know. But um, I thoroughly enjoy it. All right, guys, next pack, get your, get your votes in. Get your bets out. Let's see them bets, ladies. We have a rare pack. This is where we pull the Charizard, guys. This is where we get the Charizard. That's it. Rags coming in with the Fire Luck Electric Slightning. Slightning from Slug. Chow Key. You got 30 seconds left. 20 seconds left. All right, we got fire, electric, and lightning. The usual suspects. And no more bets. And no one got grass. <laughs> Moving on, glue. It's actually a pretty cool glue. Yep. Guys, that glue is actually pretty cool. Haunter. Did somebody else get it? Cleffer. Salandit. Coughing. Alolan Diglett. Easy. Zuba. And Unbroken Bonds does have some... I think Sun and Moon in general had really good artwork, right? Yeah, Rags, look, that's why I stopped doing it, man. I was so bad. So bad. 
Quagsire Reverse Holographic. Holy moly! We just pulled a secret rare Dedene GX. Holy moly! Dedene changed. When you load this Pokemon from your hand onto your bench during your turn, you may discard one. You may discard your hand and draw six cards. This is why this card was so, so, so used. Right, yeah, that card is so playable. Absolutely, that ability there, guys, is dominating, right? Exactly right. I would never use this for um, competitive. Although, in saying that, um, I do actually use... Uh, so, for cards that I do play, I will actually put them in a, um, a really tight-fitting side sleeve. And then I'll put them into a deck guard. Um, <clears throat> for cards that I do want to play, guys. That is awesome. <clears throat> that is awesome. Oh, man, I'm so happy you opened this one. That is awesome, guys. I really like that detonate. I'm not gonna play it though, which is the sad part. Alrighty. <clears throat> yeah, that, that is awesome. Hey, if you give me one second, I'll actually show you the um the, the guards I was talking about. So cards that um, so so for cards that I want to play with guys, just I don't know, in case you wanted to know, um, I, I'll use these side sleeves. So if, it is mainly for hollow trainer cards and and the like. So they're really tight fitting. So if you see that, done, done, done. Give me half an hour after this. I'm wrapping up soon. So guys, as you can see, it's really tight fitting, super tight fitting to get in there. And then you can use it in a deck guard. So the closest deck guard I have here is Natsta's, so I'll use hers. And you just slide it in to that. So if you do want to play with good cards, guys, this is how I'd recommend to do it doing it. You it's double sleeved. You've protected it with the side entry sleeve, and then it's in a deck guard. Right? Full deck protective sleeve, right? Also with the um, the tint here, so you don't affect it so much with from the lighting. Um, but yeah, guys, that's that's just if, if you want to play with your cards um, and and they're good cards and you don't want to damage them, that's that's what I try to do. Um, you know, growing up as a kid, we ruined all our cards, so now as uh, now that I'm older, I try not to ruin my cards. Um, and, and these are things that I try to employ to do so. Um, very, very handy side, and they're only a couple, they're very cheap. Very cheap, those side entry sleeves. Um, so, moving on. All right, last pack or two, and we can get this puppy out of the way. Thank you so much, for everyone, for hanging out today's stream. We have not had less than eight people on the stream. Do I play in tournaments? I'm not very good, all right? So, um, I, I do play local, um, local tournaments. Um, I definitely play at the pre-release events as well. Uh, but I, I also play at home just with Nadster whenever we get the chance to. Um, yeah, it's just a little, little session. Guys, our last unbroken bonds for the evening. Hey, so you were in a tournament the other day when we were talking as well. When we were um, on a stream. All right, guys, get your bets in. Let's see those bets. Oh, I promised you one more pack after this, so I will do another pack after this, guys. Give it a voltage. All right, get your bets in while I pull out a vivid voltage pack. 
know you guys want to see this again, but... Just in case you're wondering as well, these blisters here are actually all Darkness, Ablaze, and Sword and Shield. Oh, guys. Also, can't wait to open these two. These are happening soon. Um, these are happening soon. These base twos, we're, ho we're hunting a swirl. So we're looking for a hollow here with a swirl on it, right? Um, I have ordered a, um, ordered a card the other day with one just because of my first swirl card, um, which has made me want to just rip through a whole bunch of All right, we got our energies in. All right, Psyche, fire. Dark, all right. Psyche, fire, dark. All right, no more bets. Hey, Rags, you got it, man. Rags is on the board. Rags is on the board. This is Shao Key's game to lose, right? Oh, no. Oh, that's terrible. Yeah, I just fixed it, man. Thank you. It was not a weird remix. It was really bad. Um, so, guys, just so you know, something weird is happening with my audio. I can't actually hear what we're listening to anymore. I can see it playing. I can't hear it. Um, so, that's why I'm usually dancing to it. Now, I can't even dance to it. So, um, that's upsetting. All right, guys. Next pack. Final pack for the evening. Final pack for the evening. Thank you so much for hanging out. You guys are absolutely awesome. Absolute legends. You guys blow my mind every single time. Oh, yeah. Before we do this, we've got to go through this one. All right. Togetic. Koga's Trap. Power Plans. Clefairy. Poliwag. Ekans. Wow. That is... That is a very cool Ekans. That is probably the best... I mean, you can tell it's modern, right? It's a modern type Ekans. Drowsy, just being a slob. Just lazy, drowsy. Pikachu, again. Awesome artwork there. Stealthy Hood. We knew we had a holo trainer in the back here. Stealthy Hood. I see a lot of them around. <laughs> And Crocodile. Crocodile. So, nothing much. So, out of that blister, we only had one Dingo Dial. Out of that, we only had one decent uh, pack out of that entire blister. That's how the cookie crumbles. I think they say one in three, right? Come on, let's get a fat Pikachu. Last pack, guys, because I owed you one more. Sh guys, do not let Shauki win. He hasn't had a guess in the last three rounds. <clears throat> Fire, lightning. Ah, no, no fat peaker in this one. I've been working like a fool. The, the it from me. Well, you've got one more bet. Last bet, guys. Last bet. <clears throat> Ghost. You mean dark? Alright, we got fire, we have lightning, we have dark, and I don't know what Sharky's saying, so... Dark? 
Is that what you meant? Dark or poison? I'm going to give this a uh, few seconds for uh, us to clarify a few things. One, Shalky, are you doing dark? Okay. Um, Fucking pick one, Ant. Pick one. Dark, poison, or flying? Pick one. Hey, there's, there isn't even poison type. It's poison type, not fine. You are a smart ass. You got me. You got me. Okay, we do have two. Anton Chalky got dark. <sighs> oh my god, Chalky wins, guys. <sighs> oh wow, GG. Let's see what was in here anyway. Croco Croc. Exadrill. What was that? Extra bit of print there. Bow. Ferro Seed. Riolu. Sandile. Butt Butt. Weedle. Reverse Holo. Galarian Berserker. And a Somaroth non holographic. GG, guys, thank you very much for coming around, hanging out today while we went through a plethora of packs, guys. This has been awesome. Probably the most enjoyment I've had um, on a stream yet. So, um, and last night was actually pretty freaking hilarious. So, um, no, when's the stream tomorrow? Okay, am I streaming every day now? Um, let's do it. Why not? When's the stream tomorrow? Let's open up Darkness Ablaze. Yes, I've got a booster box of Darkness Ablaze. Booster box of Darkness Ablaze, guys. Next episode, booster box of Darkness Ablaze. Thanks to Ant asking for it. We'll be opening up a booster box of Darkness Ablaze. Um, so we have plenty of it. Um, and so, fingers crossed, we get some good pulls out of there. Um, and... Uh, let me know if you want to mix it up half Sword Shield, half Darkness Blaze, or you want it all Darkness of Blaze. Um, just let me know in the chat now, guys, as well. But, man, you guys have been absolutely awesome. Like, superbly awesome. Sublime. I can't ask for a better crew than this, right? Um, let me just play my outro track now that I've, uh, you know, I've worked on these things. I want to play them, right? Uh, but plenty more to come on this, um, Oh yeah, I have so much vivid voltage to go through as well. Um, I have, I've already opened a box and a half, so um, we've got to get through them. So guys, um, yeah, those art sets are cool, absolutely. Um, yeah, 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 I've got to sort through all these cards tonight and stuff. Um, also, updating spreadsheets for anyone that does want codes. Um, so I'll be getting your spreadsheet out to you guys. Um, please spread the word as well. All your support uh, means a lot. You know, all your follows, your subs, geez, rags, you're an absolute legend. Um, you know, it just really helps to push me to open up more and more, guys. Um, so, thank you so much for hanging out, joining the channel. Um, spreadsheets update, absolutely. You'll see 20 in there this time. Um, so, thank you. Again, thanks again, guys. I'll update all what you see on Twitch over the next week. You guys will be getting cool new emotes and things like that and, and rewards for subscribing. But even just, you know, using bits on the channel, which you get for free, um, you'll be able to use them for all sorts of keen stuff, guys. Cool stuff, guys. So let me just wrap us up for the evening and I'll catch you all next time. Peace. Uh, hit a slight weapons malfunction. Uh, hit a slight weapons malfunction. Nice for you guys to drop by. Follow me. They'd be crazy to follow us, wouldn't they? A giant gorilla, just like in those old video games. Never tell me the odds. I hope we don't get back for this. Let me see your identification.